Alright. Go! No Japan! No warrior now! This park! Microphone check, one, two, what is this? No Japan! No warrior now! Parks on the board. We had the grill in 88. Y'all niggas is late. Niggas don't want to play today. You got all that right? Uh, I love this shit like my own dog. Oh, oh. Spray these niggas, oh. baby, just like right. daddy told you. Right. Young. No Japan. No worry and ma. This parks. This parks. What's happening? Uh, the <laughs> microphone check. One, two. What is this? The JBP boys bike to business. Three ninety-five. Six. Six. Welcome to episode three ninety-six of the Joe Button podcast. I am your humble, gracious, grateful, and. <coughs> And congested host Pardon me I'm your humble, gracious, grateful And highly favored host Joe Budden Here with a few of my nearest and dearest Some really good guys You ought to meet them one day Starting with Brother Maul Brother Maul is here Fresh to death That's what the YouTube commenters keep saying Fresh to death? Yeah Oh, thank you I appreciate yeah, that Hair do. growing No, don't tell me uh, I didn't say it no, It's been like tell 40, 72 hours killing me For my fro But it's all good I thought it looked good Yeah, it wasn't mad at it What's this, a light 900 on the lay? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know when his hair starts to grow, they start like wearing that. it like that. All right. He's only yeah. laughing because that's way uh, under. Yeah, I know. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. <laughs> Joe is a fucking idiot. I'm a, all right, man. What's wrong it. with you? Why are you always fucking with me? Man? Why What's would up? this only be nine hundred? Why are you fucking with me? The shoes are nine hundred. Yeah, no, nah, I am all fucked up, man. My bad. Like yeah. twenty five on the lay. No, <laughs> um, lay. I'm uh, throwing another twenty five for the sweater, for the sprinter for the week. I know, uh, I know what that sweater talking about. <laughs> mm-hmm. Parks is yeah, here today. Parks. <laughs> Parks is here today, huh? Yeah. Yo, look at the fit, yo. What's that? A good dub on the lay? Yeah, shit. She got a nice. <laughs> she got a nice a little forty. A good dub. A little forty. <laughs> <laughs> now, Parks bought the black Timbs out today, though. Yeah, but now, yeah, time. yeah, those are five years. Nah, you're still but a dub. Still though, One you year. black Timbs. <laughs> they get better with age. Yeah, yeah. they're worth more. Yeah. Yeah. Vintage. They get. Vintage. <laughs> Vintage. <laughs> Vintage Timbs. Timbs. <laughs> All right, uh, hey, uh, on. Uh, not the left sleeve up a little bit to show the wrist. Chill, Roar. Uh, <laughs> this is how the hoodie, this nah. is what the hoodie does. Chill, Roar. <laughs> this, this would be up. And the yeah, hoodie nah, just nah. Up. nah, I've never seen that Chill. time piece. Show, show the end of the, the sleeve. Come just on, the end of the man. Tab. See the tap Ain't right even there. no numbers no. on that one. You, you see, just got to uh, know the time. Yeah. They call this distressed. <laughs> That's what this, this hoodie is distressed. Uh, okay. Oh, All my right. God. Look at the latch on it. Woo! Yes, watches have latches. That's how they stay together. Not the latch. You My could have got an elastic joint. Come. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Not elastic the custom gold. latch. No, it wasn't custom. It came with the watch as is. <laughs> Not your initials on it. That's not my initial. Not personal. All right, I don't know. Uh, E-Rab, what's going on with you? Corey is here. Savon the Don is here. Is that a headband or a scully? That's a scully. And Alex the Great is here. Gentlemen, how's everybody feeling? Good, man. Good. How's everybody Great. doing? Good. Good. Fantastic. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Spirits up. Family's healthy. <laughs> Spirits don't ever sound up when you say it's up. No, I'm good. Why, when, let me. How did you? How did your voice sound when you're enthusiastic? Like when you're, when you feel excitement. Have you ever? Of course. <laughs> have I ever? Of course. I don't, you ever I don't felt know. excited. <laughs> I've been excited on this pod. Y'all, y'all seen me excited. I have. I think, man. I, think Listen. I told this story on this pod before, but if I didn't, when we. I'm going to drop a bunch of names here, so just bear with Uh-oh. it. When, uh oh. <laughs> Last time Uh-oh. it was Hove's birthday. When Maul and I <laughs> and uh, another gentleman went to... The, hey, I was expecting a name drop right there. The, the, Drake, well, the, the Drake Show. We were on the oh. riser, mind you, and it's every, all the names, Serena, KD, Drake performing. All the names. Every name you could think of, mind you. And we're right in front of the stage, and it's one of the better shows I've ever been to. And the other gentleman I'm with turns to me and goes, does Maul get excited about anything? <laughs> Maul was staring at that Drake show like he was waiting for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I was just, you know, looking at the show. What do you want me to do? Man, like, there was so much going on. I was like, this is the greatest show. Is right. Holy shit. Look at all the fire. There's Maul's, a flying Ferrari. Maul, and Maul's, Maul's just, just sitting there. Maul's just sitting like, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I'm it chilling. Was shit I was just looking at the show. I, was, I thought I was just enjoying the show, right? Yeah, that's how you I wish I could have been with Maul the first time Sicko Mode came on around him. <laughs> 
I feel like we was podding when Sicko Mode came out. No, I mean, when you first heard it. Oh. Sicko Mode is one of the last He heard it in the stew. So when we heard it, he was like, oh, this finally came out? <laughs> you put an ugly face on when Sicko Mode came out. I don't care what y'all say. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Especially okay. with that beat drop. Okay. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. Go side. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, Mall as well. Parks as well. Rory as well. Everybody yeah. as well. Let's yeah. check on Rory's mental health together as a family. Yeah, I'm let's cool. do it. I'm yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. I'm all right today. Brighter yeah. days. Yeah. I got a... a, a a lot of cool shit going on this weekend, so I'm excited that that's bringing my uh, endorphins up. Ah, you will. your endorphins. So, yeah, yeah so good, you got, good you distractions coming up. You had up. a little jam session on, on IG Live the other night. I tuned in for a few. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was you or a fake page. No, that was Because some people <laughs> just make y'all pages with the same Abby, and yeah. I think y'all are talking to me. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, Parks wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was me. I was checking you out. Did they cut you off for playing music? Yes. Uh, I got a bunch of notifications I'd never seen before in my entire life. It was like, hey, shut this off in 30 seconds or we're shutting you down completely. Were you playing your shit? And then it allows shit? you to say ignore. I was like, all right, I'll ignore it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they just kept shutting me down. Were you playing your shit? What? Yeah, I was playing other shit too, though. Oh, okay. well, do you think he owns his shit? I do, actually. <laughs> the talk uh, is shit. Yeah, I don't know what the, what the fuck. Pow! <laughs> yeah. I know, I know you don't own yours, but Jesus Christ, don't project that. Don't project <laughs> that <on me>. <laughs> <laughs> You think Rory not clapping back at Hove's birthday? Of course not. <laughs> Random, I do think it's funny that uh, the NBA just announced that they won't be testing players for marijuana, and instead of the NBA trending, J.R. Smith is trending. <laughs> just him by himself. You think he smoke, smokes a little marijuana? Yeah, he's the Jerry. A little bit. He's the Jerry West of that shit, man. Of smoking weed and playing ball? He's the logo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure. No, he's, he's, he's going to average 40. Great. He's high. Grams <laughs> 40 grams They said Mike Tyson Was high before the fight Right He yeah, said he was that. high No no J.R. Smith, <laughs> Smith said, He told us It was Mike himself <laughs> On video smoking yeah. <laughs> So yeah I smoked I was smoking him Before the fight yeah. He looked real before. good To be fighting high Yeah yeah. Fighting high Is kind of tough Yeah I don't want to fight When I'm high There was one fight I had Where I was High Out of this universe On what though Right a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. it was well, that's a different. Lot, it was a lot going on, and I got into a little fisticuffs, and it felt like it was in slow motion, and I felt like I just kept missing everything, but I was connecting somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the Matrix? I was <laughs> missing, but I was getting them. <laughs> that's funny. A high fight is pretty funny. Um, I want to shout out to our YouTube viewership. Shout out to the YouTube commenters. Maul's hair, Maul's hair is braided just for you guys. Uh, <laughs> shout out braided. to our... Apple listenership, shout out to our SoundCloud listenership, and the rest of you niggas that are bootlegging and scamming and listening to wherever you might be listening from. With that said, Maul, big day for you. Big day for you. For me? Yes. Happy belated birthday to Hove, the bar, the blueprint, the greatest. Absolutely. Absolutely. Happy birthday, Hove. Did you text him this morning, too? No, I didn't. But oh, yeah, the, that's what we were But clowning. you're the heir to the throne. That's what we were clowning Rory about before what? you got here. And, and Joe. And well, yeah. Joe also texted him. Happy birthday, big, big bro. Okay. Take, and thank, thank you for take everything you. that you've ever done for me. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I, yeah, never, I thought it was nice. I, never. I wasn't clowning anyone. Yeah. Yo, These that, two that keep one eye open like CBS. I didn't really get it back then, but now I understand. Yeah, then, I, yeah. then I turned on my cable. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, ah. Oh. I saw the logo. Yeah. Yeah. But that's good. I'm glad y'all texted him. Told him happy birthday. I never said that I did that. I was oh. trying to introduce a Rory joke. Oh, okay. But they brought it to me. But that, was, that was nice of Rory. To, to I didn't do anything. Happy birthday to Hove. What emoji? What, <laughs> what, what emoji did you use? Come on. Yeah. What emoji did you send? A balloon? I mean, maybe. <laughs> the maybe, party hat? Maybe a cake. <laughs> maybe a cake. You said Jay, you said Jay a cake. <laughs> that nigga blocked you, man. You <laughs> can't send Hove no cake emoji, man. I did not send Hove a cake emoji, Ma. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. I believe it. Well, I tried, when, uh, when I you tried to get Rory to tell me what happened. Like, tell me what he did, but he wouldn't tell me. He just said he said happy birthday. Yeah, I think that's, that's cool. Then I asked him if we could utilize his Hove call mm -hmm. to wish Hove a happy birthday on the podcast. And he, told, said, he said no. Absolutely not. Oh, yeah. And I said no, too. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, he's not but what answering. about Mo? He has his number, too. Well, that's why this whole Ta -da! episode will be dedicated to, to Mo <laughs> yes. placing his phone right here and us making calls from his phone book. Yeah. So you just want to call everybody on my phone? Mm hmm Okay. That's a good just, episode. Just a few people. That's, is, a, that's a BTS. Is Shorty in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see what I said? I, I see what you said. I heard what you said. Yes. Yes. She's in there too? Yeah. You haven't talking? You, you do know yeah. these mics are like oh, expensive. Fuck. <laughs> they've been, hey, Rory, they've been talking. Yeah, he made it clear uh, that they had spoken for two hours afterwards. Like, I didn't need to know the hour amount. Maul might be lying on his talk. 
Look what Joe think. Look, look what Joe think about me. <laughs> I'm lying on my he, talk. He's taking it worse than lying on you, your dick. You might be lying. Yeah, you might be lying on the talk. You know what I overheard a, a, a young Mo, lady say? Mo was like them chicks that say, "Oh yeah, we used to talk, and all you did was DM once." I heard. A, I heard a young lady say uh, that it's very easy <laughs> to date two niggas that's boys. Cause they don't talk to each other about shit. That's a, <laughs> I was like, that's a really good hey, point. Hey, <laughs> no. wait a second. There might that's be some point. truth to that. There's there definitely some truth, truth to, that. to that. Yeah, but if but, yeah. but eventually, you know, Man, who cares talk. if it's eventually after we both done put her in a blender? Yeah, oh. we find we find <laughs> it out years later. <laughs> one of us like her more now. I'm mad at you. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, but you know, is this something that happened? It's something I would like to happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, as soon as, about... as soon as that falls off, <laughs> yeah, look what you be wishing. <laughs> yeah, on. when y'all gonna stop? I don't. We don't. We don't talk like that. We, every now and then, I be bringing her to the stage in the chatty house. She told me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the line. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's the line. Oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah, told yeah, me. Yeah, I be lying on the talk. I don't know. Oh no, nah, she told me. I don't know. She told me. Now she gonna keep a little ass in the audience. Now, it's just, not, just for that little line you threw out there. It's just, it's just, it's just calm, regular conversation. It's not like that. Mo, what do you save? And then we're gonna actually talk about things because there are some things to get to. But what do you save women in your phone as under their name, their name, initials, uh, a how pet they name? Look. I know their name, but then if it's a if it's a common name in my phone, I will. I'll, the app, the com- app that you met them on. Yeah, when it says where it says company, I put their IG name. Their outfit. <laughs> the outfit they had. They that had is on her company too. In your favorite yeah, picture, yeah. red dress. <laughs> no, now they have the uh, you know when they update their own contact. It has the, the picture, the name. But you have to start getting update contact. You have to start getting creative. I, I never accept I'm that. Not, I'm not updating anybody's contact. Yeah, I don't want to know When they have the photo, absolutely you should. Why? Now you know nah, exactly that's trouble to double. No, no way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> See, Ma been in a single life too long. Or yeah. when you play that song, in the chicks, single life. Chicks look over at my phone anytime it light up. Oh, but then that's well, what used to. Yeah, but that's when you gotta you know tell them like it's friends. I I, I know people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mo, that's, let me t- let me just tell you that, something. Is that how Mo thinks that let, goes? Let me tell you something. When a woman that you're dating looks over and says, "Who is that?" and you say, "Oh, it's just a friend of mine you don't know." Mo. I know people. <laughs> I'm, I'm popular, bitch. Suck it up. You know, Mo. No, no, you no, no, you're the only woman I know. Anytime. That's what you're gonna say. Been in the game for years and made me an animal. What else can you say? <laughs> no, Mo. Maul probably that. thinks the line, I've actually known her longer than you, would actually work too, right? If it's true, yeah. The truth always works. When you, when you say that, please keep your no, left doesn't, up. No, by the way. The truth works. The truth never works. It only lies is what gets you in trouble. The truth? Just tell the truth. Yo, did he just say, I'll tell her, I know, I've known her longer than you? He yeah. thinks that would if work. If I do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Without, if I do, all right, that's not a Maul, lie. Maul, cool. Maul's this never my, had a woman throw hands at him. A, never. <laughs> the, Maul, they they Maul respect thinks, the truth. Maul Maul thinks women oh, respect the oh truth. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, this is not our start. This was not our start. Please. Ask, listen, ask, ask women cool. if they respect the truth. No, Maul, we have to And then ask them if they've ever lied, because they're lying if they say they respect the well, truth. Well, everybody <laughs> lies, but women hate when you lie to them more. They respect the truth. They might hurt, but they respect it at the end of the day. You got to respect it. Maul, just keep your hands up when you get those bars off to A her, woman will never Because she's going to pop off. off. She will never. A woman will never do that to me. It will never happen. Not die, right, player. It won't. <laughs> they respect me too much. All right, no, seriously, all jokes aside, we are the Hovengers. We are. Big facts. Yes. And while dun, dun, we have probably Hovengered, dun, 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 while we probably Hovengered for a lot of the episodes this year, today is a special day for us to Hovenger. Mm. So I think it's only right that Rory tell us what he text Hov this morning, and then we all get into, <laughs> <laughs> and then we all get into why this man is special to us, just for a second. Well, okay. just for a second. Okay. I mean, if he is, I don't know. I can't in, speak in for anybody. The, in the else. event that I would ever do that, let's not shy away that there may have been a scenario where you would text him "Happy Birthday" as well. Let's not just put it all on on myself. I may or may not say something like, "You've inspired my whole crew. Thank you for getting us out the brownstone." <laughs> <laughs> you believed when no one believed. Oh God! Yo, you had the foresight. If, if he regurgitated his speech to the whole text, mm-hmm. you better have said something else special. No, Roy. The only reason I'd, I bring this I'd, up, trying to joke, I know would that never tell the world if I Maul that. would not do this because he built this this city on rock and roll. That's true. Yes, <laughs> heir, heir to the throne. He. It's only me royalty. and you who are like actual like fans. 
I'm a, no, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> it's, it's a little different with us. I'm a huge fan. It's only you and I who would wake up and say, you know what, man? Let's give this guy some flowers. Yeah. Let's give this guy the flowers he deserves. Yeah, well, so I'm only when trying he, when to he's see. he's enjoying his and, birthday with his family. Yeah. And I know, <laughs> me and you, listen, I snuck you in the B-Sides concert. I know we have a, we bond through music. We do. Through Hove. Cocaine 80s first. Oh, okay. It's true. But there's some music that Rory and I bond over. So I already, all, all jokes aside, I know Rory and I, Gave it up on some mushy, sappy shit. I just think Hope, mine's Hope is hopefully, my favorite rapper hopefully ever. was cooler. Because I took time on mine. Uh, oh, you wrote a paragraph. No, I took time. I gave a paragraph. Yeah, this, you, can't this. Text, you can't text Hove and say, yo, man, salute. Mm. Happy birthday, OG. You're like, what you, you think he's just, a little just, too busy for the paragraph? It's dry. <laughs> it's just a little dry. Okay. I got in the, the inspiration you've uh, been. The mogul, the For CEO. generations. Yeah. The you, real shit. You changed the world and inspired the minds that will continue to do so. Yeah. Which is true. I got in all of that. You killed me on Pump It Up. I did, but I, I, I didn't say that. <laughs> you, but, that you never I, gave Skane the beat back. I did. <laughs> that's, that's not what I said. I didn't get in all of that. But I'm just saying, I carefully worded this, and I don't normally send a hey, happy birthday text to niggas. Mm -hmm. But with niggas dying, with niggas getting locked up, I just feel like hip hop is in a different place. And I mean, if I'm gonna get all the way mushy, man, I feel connected to this guy. I do. Okay. I think everyone does to some degree. Nah, not like me. Well, oh. sure. Not well, like me. Uh, excuse us, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, we can't love Hove either. <laughs> That sis was funny. That was, that was Jesus Christ! Was funny. Not like I'm, I I'm love only. Him. I'm bringing this up for everyone to share their own story or experience. I'm just saying. Much like hieroglyphics back in the day and the ancient writings that was on the wall that the white people couldn't figure out what it was. Like, I still look at rap music that way. So some rappers, when I hear their raps, it connects to me personally in a different way because I feel like I can understand where they were when they said it or why they said it or how they felt. And it's only really Hove and Drake that that applies to. It's a small box for me. Okay. It's uh -huh. only them. Mm -hmm. But the difference is Hove has kind of seen, he's watched, he's kind of, it's going to sound horrible, don't joke on me, but he's kind of seen me grow up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's true. Absolutely. Yeah, he's seen, like, we've been down, we've been up, we beefed, you were in charge of my career. Mm -hmm. I was an asshole, needed therapy, a lot of emotional problems, dissed you for nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, been shit, long, it's been a long, it's been a long, long road. You shit. and Corey say, let's go to 4040, you should apologize. Like, it's been a lot. Yeah. The so what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been a long... <laughs> I don't think anybody can appreciate this stuff from me, but the, all those... Tweets that he put out where he acknowledged me when he shouldn't have. The following, the unfollowing back in the day during beef. Like, mm. I feel different about this man. Judge me if you want. No, I, it's reasonable. I, I, Judge I me if you want. It's understandable. It's understandable. So, I mean, yeah, man, this is a big deal for me. Like, when I speak to the older people being, like, inspirations for artists learning how to age. Like, we talking about, here comes a corny pun. The blueprint. <laughs> mm-hmm. You 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 were gonna take my corny pun without a reasonable we, we, doubt. You could use that one. Oh, you need a new one now. Well, he no, took that one. No, he took it. He took it. No, he took it. Not right. in my lifetime. I mean, <laughs> oh, he took it. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Slow it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. What was I saying? I think you were, uh, you know, flowers, flowers. No, hope, hope being the blueprint. No pun. Intended. I'm just saying the blueprint, the bar. Yeah. Not only being, listen, I won't even have conversations with certain niggas who don't have Hove number one. Mm -hmm. That's just where I'm at with it. Outside of the bars, what he's been able to do in business, what he's been able to do with his wife, mm -hmm. what he's been able to do with Dame, apart mm -hmm. from Dame, mm -hmm. on Def Jam, apart from Def Jam, mm -hmm. title, what he does for artists, how he acts or how they act as the rapper union without an official rapper union, like... There's a lot that gets into this whole bag that gets me sentimental on his birthday. Mm -hmm. And that's a new thing, by the way, where I'm sentimental on his birthday. Mm -hmm. well, you get uh, before, you I get... never gave a fuck about December 4th. When he made the song, what the, like, what the fuck are we doing here? That's one of my favorite <laughs> songs. Uh, it's well, a great well, song. Well, no, you're getting older, that's why. I think birthdays not mean more when you get older, but you reflect a bit more when you hit certain parts of your life. For sure. It's it's a little different. I think that's a fact. And I also think with all of these rappers that have died, like sure. how old are you? 
I'm 30. How old are you? 37. How old are you? 39. And I'm 40. Mm -hmm. And this morning I stopped when I thought of my age and you guys' age. Mm -hmm. And then I thought of Stack's age when he died. Mm -hmm. Chinks, yeah. Juice World, Chinks. Pop Smoke, the list goes, Nipsey, the list goes on and on and on. At 40 and 30 and 39 and 36? Seven. Seven. <laughs> we here. Right. We here to watch. We here to experience. We here to learn. We here to tell the story of what the fuck was going on from then, whenever that then starts, to now. Mm -hmm. I'm on a rant, but as I age, all of this stuff is super important to me. Oh, wow. Happy, so, yes. happy birthday to Chinks, too. So, yes, I sent... What was yeah. his birthday? Happy, December 4th. Happy, oh, happy wow. birthday right. to Chinks. Happy Rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace to Fred Hampton, murdered as he laid in his bed with his pregnant fiance mm -hmm. by Chicago police and the FBI in 1969. Like, because of the state of the world... And because of Rory's point, me aging and just being a little more in tune, like, this stuff is important to me. So you fucking right. I sent a mushy text. I did. Good. No, Ho Hove is the metaphor for, I think, not even just the genre of hip-hop, but, like, when KRS get on his shit of saying, like, hip-hop is not just music. It's literally a, a lifestyle of the world. Yeah. Hove, I think, is the metaphor for exactly what it is. He shown how it can age. He showed how it could be profitable. He showed how it shifts not just our culture, but the world's culture. He showed us how to monetize that. He showed us how to own that. He's done it all without, I don't think, guidance before him on the fly, more or less, which, which I've always felt hip-hop is. Hip-hop is the best thing in the world that's done everything on the fly. Like, we're doing this as we go, and we're going to do it better. Right. And I've always felt Hove is exactly, embodies that of hip-hop. And he's shown how it can age when they said hip-hop was just a fad. And I'm yeah. not saying Hove is the one that carried to make sure it wasn't a fad, but right. I just think he's combined everything that this genre is in one thing. I agree. So, I... I Shout out to Ove, happy birthday. He did a deal with Samsung and made them buy a million of his albums. Innovative. Yeah. yeah. Innovative. He told me that Chris, Cristal didn't like me when I didn't drink Cristal. Thank you. <laughs> I had no idea. Like, he just he just was the, the deliverer of information, so much so that today I still hear things in the songs that I didn't hear or pick up on. Yeah. Today, oh, all, because all I'm 40 and much more business oriented, it's very different from, oh, that's what a 4.6 is. Mm -hmm. Like, no, that was me at 26, 27, 28. Oh, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it was 26, 27, but whenever I found whenever. it out, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. And much more than just material to, items. Today, that, you know. it's, it's just different today, man. It's different today. Like, I can hear the gems and jewels and what we should be doing. And the same way I, try, I call myself taking information and trying to bring it back to the people, I have to salute those that have done it before me and continue to do so. Like, like I went, I went to see him to ask for advice on what we should be doing mm -hmm. because I believe him to be able to see things differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's not too many people I would go and discuss our situation with. Right. And he gave it up to me. I felt good about how I, how I decide, how we decided to move in this. Yeah. Be free. Don't take the money. Thanks. Hope. Hmm. Right, Corey? Corey's with me? Yeah. That was the Grammy for me. <laughs> that was the award. Wait, what? Oh, I'm out. I'm <laughs> gone. Let's get back to work. I just appreciate it, man. I really, 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 really appreciate it. And there's been too many years in my career where I have been too cancerous to acknowledge it and verbalize it. So I want that to change today. And especially since I don't know who else I could give it up for like this. It's not many people. Yeah, he's one of the... Uh, That's it for me. One of the very few. He's uh, But, you know, me personally, it's, you know, I've been able to see a lot of things that never get pushed into the public. And, you know, see him do a lot of things for a lot of people that he never talks about, never mentions. So I, I see the person, the real person that he is. And um, he's truly one of a kind. You know what I mean? He's just a, a genuine... A uh, real solid person, somebody that's uh, extremely intelligent. Um, you know, he's just somebody that we all should look at as the as the bar. 
You know what I mean? Like a lot of these young cats, you see them now that you know they die and they 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 go to prison. And the reason why I feel some type of way about it and it affects me in a different way is because you know if if, if everyone's story ends when they're young, uh-huh. you know if Jay's story ends when he's twenty and twenty one, you know mm-hmm. we don't get this. Mm-hmm. So that's why when we see you know a King Von pass away, a Pop Smoke, a lot of these uh, young a Nipsey, it bothers me because you never you you know what what can come right. out of these uh these 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 situations and these communities that a lot of us come from. Yeah, we do things at a young age to survive. Mm-hmm. But then you make it out of that, and then you can change the world. And I think Jay is a living example of that. Of you know, again, you come from selling, selling drugs in the in the projects in Brooklyn to what he is today. That's like you know, I say it all the time. He has probably the greatest story, American story that I can I can think of. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And I don't say that just because it's Jay and that's family. It, it, it's real. Even if I never met no, he him, does. No, he does for me too. Yeah, yeah. it's like he, he has. The, it's the too. greatest story. You know what I mean? And it, we're living in the time and the moment. But sixty years from now, when people go back and they learn who Jay Z is and was, mm-hmm. I believe a lot of them will say the same thing. Like this dude was, you know, he was a god, really. And and I believe that truly. I believe he's somebody that just has the. Uh, he has vision. He has the ability to see things, and he has the ability to go out and do things when people think it's not possible. Never graduate in high school. Uh-huh. Odds stacked against you, mm-hmm. and you just proving everybody wrong and doing it your way, right. and doing it the way you want to do it the entire way. You know, if if Jay doesn't do it the way he does it, we don't see. I don't think we see a lot of the things that we see in the culture today. I don't think we see a quality control without Rockefeller. You know what I mean? That, that's just me. You know, they, they made it believable that you can do it. You know what I mean? You don't have to have a college degree and be a super intelligent guy. You just have to believe in yourself and hustle and work hard and, and, and you know, not take no for an answer. And I think that everybody should take that from Jay if they don't take anything else. Is never take no for an answer. Believe in yourself. You'll figure it out. And, and yeah, and just, and, just, and just hustle, man. Grind hard and, and stay the course, man. And believe in yourself. And then never take no for an answer. But happy birthday, Ho. You know, I Absolutely. love you. I, I say it whenever I see you, whenever we speak. You know how I feel. And um, thank you for everything you've ever did for me, did for the family, did for friends, just anybody in passing. And salute to you, man. Artists. The yeah, greatest. Yeah, artists. Not just sure. friends and family, but artists, it's a lot yeah, of artists that sponge this shit up from him, man. Yeah. And not just friends, family, artists, people and other people. Parts of the culture Yeah, yeah Just, just in focus passing. on that If you've it's, ever had a, a, a conversation a, a genuine You know Real conversation with Jay It's definitely some words That stuck with you And changed your life Oh yeah for sure You know what I mean Even if it was for five minutes it, He gives you something That you could walk with forever Hope next time you uptown Man it's on me We going up <laughs> We going up next time I'm gonna take a nap I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to hit the club. It's on me. Don't even worry about it, man. Oh, that's kind of you. Come on, man. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. What else What else you want me to do? Oh, speaking of, shout out to Cash App. Thank you for the support. Thank you for enabling us, empowering us, believing in, believing, believing in us. Shout out to Cash App. I'm with all the forward thinking companies. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With that said, where would you gentlemen like to begin today? Your favorite Hove album? <laughs> Line that most impacted your life. <laughs> Is that where y'all want to go? No, nigga. Oh, <laughs> not, okay. At least not right well, now. Well, I've always felt American Gangster aged really well. <laughs> aged like wine. <laughs> we do need to talk about the uh, the current state of hip hop, though. That's where we're at. Yeah, I think. Oh, we, we coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. I'm in. Because it's a real thing. You, was you talking to the young boys? What happened? Uh, just just talking in general, man. Um, I'm so desensitized because there's so much happened in the last few days. I think that's the problem. Yeah. I think that we are desensitized. I think that it uh it, it feels normal to wake up to news of rappers being either killed or under federal indictment. And that's the issue. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. a real issue. Um, I just don't know when these uh, rappers are going to get it, when they're going <laughs> to uh, understand what's happening, what's going on. But um, it's it's something that needs to be talked about. It's something that needs to be addressed because there is clearly something going on with the hip hop culture where, you know, all these federal indictments keep coming down, all these killings keep happening. Yeah. And it's like you know we scroll and we we talk about it for a day and then the next day is business as usual. Everybody forgets about well, it. Well, let's tell people what you're talking about and why that conversation is, uh, <clears throat> relevant relevant 
today. I mean, it's been relevant, but even more relevant today. Uh, the first news that broke was Casanova, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh, wait, did I tell people to subscribe? <sighs> uh, well, subscribe. Subscribe. I didn't, right? Shout out Cash App. Swipe, Cash App. subscribe down the icon ad here. And hit the bell for what the bell does. And get you a Cash App. Yeah, and download Cash App. And yeah. buy our capsule merch line. Big that's Sold out. <laughs> uh, you can't get the Big Roar t-shirt anymore. <laughs> sold out? Come Damn, on. Damn, I was going to get one too. The fans, keep, the fans keep asking why you and Rory are the flyest dudes ever and y'all don't do our merch, but... Hey, I've only said 10,000 times all I say should to, do our merch. <laughs> all I say to them in the great words of Lex is ta -da! <laughs> Um, Back to Casanova and why Maul thinks that hip hop is being targeted yet again, right? Uh, let's see. Casanova is not charged in the slaying, but faces one count each of conspiracy to commit racketeering, conspiracy to distribute controlled substances, and a gun possession charge. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Southern District of New York in Manhattan, Casanova 34, surrendered to the NYPD around 11.15 Wednesday. Blah, blah, blah. He pleaded not guilty to the charges. Now, I'm getting this from Daily News, by the way. Uh, he pleaded not guilty to the charges Thursday and is in custody while a bail proposal is being prepared. And that's what we got. Accused of the, uh, Yeah, that's yeah. what we got there. Uh, the report came out, said that he was on the run. Uh, I always think it's funny when that report comes out on the internet, but I understand it. Mm -hmm. um, and he turned himself in. Yeah. That's all we got. And that's the information that we have on that. But I do understand your sentiment. I saw a lot of that going around. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's you know, I feel like, you know, entertainers, entertainers and artists, they make it easy for shit like this to happen. You know what I mean? Like, you can't have... Well, Cass says he's innocent... By the way, yeah, no, not not. I'm not speaking you know, directly directly to, mm -hmm. to his situation. I'm just saying in general, um, you can't have one foot in and one foot out of the game. Like if you're uh, an artist, entertainer, uh, you know, I know the situations that a lot of us come from, coming up in the streets in the hood. We got to do what we got to do to eat. But when you find your strength in artistry and you now are a business and people are invested in you financially. You got to leave those things alone. You can't have people around you that's involved in that because all of that falls on you. Mm. You know what I mean? And they're going to find a way to wrap you up in that bullshit. They're going to find a way to, you know, put your name in the middle of it. And it's just not worth it. It's, it's really not worth it. And it's, it's clear as day. I mean, all these phones, these cameras, and we've seen this story over and over again where rappers get arrested. And then, you know, years later, more rappers get arrested. It's like... But you think this is just happening because dudes are street dudes? Or because dudes don't fully commit to music when the opportunity presents itself like why do you think i think it's um or is it I affiliations keep... i think yeah it's affiliations it's you know you have friends from 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 these you know these neighborhoods and these in the blocks you grew up on and the communities and you know if you make it as an artist or, or an athlete or whatever you don't want to leave certain people behind you still hang out with certain people but it's important that you know you talk to these people like look if y'all love me and y'all fuck me the way y'all say y'all do we can't be involved with none of this shit. If like, there, yeah, but we got to find another way. We, we Ma, have I'm to. gonna listen. If there were one of the, excuse me, if there were one of the street rappers mm -hmm. that I would have assumed to know all of this, or not even assumed, I would have thought to know all of this, it would be Casanova, mm -hmm. probably because we've spoken, and he said to me, uh, both before his deal and after he got his deal, that he very clearly understood that this was his shot. Right. Mm. And right. he was he was very open and adamant about not wanting to blow that uh by behaving like his record says mm -hmm. or or being quick tempered or mm -hmm. being in the street. He was clear, crystal clear on that. Right. So it's just like when it's just like I came in and said when Benny got shot, it's like, damn it. Like some of these niggas, we just assumed them to know already. So I mean, what happens when it happens mm -hmm. anyway? Well, cause some like, of these and I can't just say that it's it's because of affiliations and where niggas is from and so forth and so on. Like I don't know how any of the rappers are getting paid right now. I thought that I read that somewhere, and maybe I'm wrong, that some of these charges have been being worked on for like a decade or something yeah. like that. Yeah, a lot of these charges are going back nine, ten years. Which would be before he was even yeah. active musically. Mm -hmm. on a I don't know scale, that to be true, but that 
sounds like it makes sense. Yeah. I don't know the feds to come snoop around for four months. No, yeah. no, of course this not. is a this is a long ongoing investigation uh, that they've been the feds have been doing. So I'm just saying it's hard to say. Yo, man, once you get some shit moving, leave that shit alone. If the shit that they're bringing up is from before, right. you got shit moving. And I understand. I want to talk to the rappers that are actively committing fraud right. and scams mm. because money is tight and money is low, and the whole music industry is damn near closed. The record labels are closed, but the A and R's on Chatty House every day acting like they got jobs still. Like shit is fucked up for people out here. Mm. Yeah, and the different arenas that that affects. Like, uh, and God forbid, this probably won't be the last of this style case. Well, shit, a few days later, the G Herbo shit happened. Right, right. Where the feds came and swooped him, said he's been buying puppies and jets and trips and villas and all types of shit Mm -hmm. on fraud. Mm -hmm. G Herbo also turned himself in. G Herbo, who was named this week to Forbes 30 Under 30, which we'll get to later, Antonio Strong, a Chicago music promoter and manager and several associates were charged in federal court in Massachusetts with conspiracy to commit wire fraud and identity theft. Boy, that used to be my bag, allegedly. So I understand. I get it. Strong, whom a judge called the ringleader of the $1.5 million fraud scheme, also faces a wire fraud charge. Uh, I'm assuming that he's uh, going to plead not guilty. Mm-hmm. He turned himself in, and we'll see where both of these cases land, land uh, these gentlemen. Yeah. But it doesn't feel good to read, and I empathize with my brothers and my peers. I do. Hell yeah. I don't have any information as to whether they did it or not, but I know shit is fucked up out here, and this probably won't be the last. Yeah, it is fucked up. You know what I mean? But again, you, you know, you can't you can't put yourself in in the position to lose it all. You know what I mean? And I understand like a lot of dudes just trying to find different ways to make money. They hustling. Well, how do you do it? That's just our nature. Well, I how mean, do you I, do it? You know. How do you do it? I can't tell somebody. I, I got to be. I got to try to be solution based. Like I can't fret over all the wrong that's happening without trying to come up with some way to resolve. How do you do it? I see niggas. Listen, we come here and joke sometimes, but I see niggas making their way to the little pockets that's open where there's people and there's shows and there's. Yeah. We have. We got to do something. Yeah. No. The, I, yeah. I, I agree with that. But. But putting yourself in the, in the middle of a federal investigation and doing shit like that that's gonna have you sitting in jail for years is. That's definitely not the go-to. And niggas don't know the feds is looking at them. Well, I think Kat, Cass's case is much different to what you're saying. Because, yeah, yeah, no, no, Because yeah. Corona has been happened for, what, eight months. This seems like something that's been going on for quite some time. No, but I do understand that well, yeah, first money is low for if, everybody. So if you're, you got to do doing, what you got to do. If you're doing wire fraud and you're doing identity theft and, like, and shit like that, please believe the feds will catch it. They will. It's only a matter of time. So they're going to catch tough, it. Tough crime to get away with. These yeah, things. like they're going to catch it. There's way too much paper trail. There's way too much shit just lying around that y'all not going to miss it. Y'all not going to cover every corner. Like they're going to catch it. And it's only a matter of time before they come knocking. And when they do, we all know that the feds, when they come get you, they already have the case solved. It's over with. So mm-hmm. now it's just a game of cooperation or go sit down for 10 years. And nobody wants to do that. Right. So Either, either one. It's just that they seem to be targeting the hip hop culture. Is all I'm saying. That's been the case for a long time. I was gonna say, yeah, cop, yeah. cops yeah. have always outside of who they target as is mm-hmm. rappers. They that's like a trophy for them it, because we make it easy. Everybody's posting everything. Everybody's you know recording everything now and posting it on social media. Yeah, they don't even have to leave the the offices anymore. They could just sit down and follow you on social media and they know exactly what's going on. Yeah. Like you know what I mean You can't You know you can't fool The system You can't trick the system You can't it's, it, it, it works for a couple years But then they come knocking And it's like all for what It's all over with mm-hmm. And it's just unfortunate Because a lot of these dudes Have real talent And they have a real opportunity And they have families And kids And, exactly. and parents Exactly mm-hmm. And people that care about them Like uh, Boy it was difficult For me to For me to read uh, Jazzy's uh, Swaggy Jazzy's Post of saying goodbye Or Mm-hmm. Or Cass turning himself in, like in her saying she's gonna hold it down. That man, yeah. I empathize. I empathize. It's rough, man. It's rough, and I don't have the answers. You know, I don't know, but I do know that the shit that we've been doing and it's, it's not working. We got to we got to find a different way to create a steady income. The, the world is fucked up right now. We know that's no shows. A lot of these rappers depend on these shows. Um, you know, it's hard to put out music because you're like, well, damn, I'm not gonna be able to perform this. Right. So I understand it, but. 
you know, you don't want to you don't want to sit in prison. Also, think it's important to note while we're on this that Young and May was also arrested for reckless driving. Oh, was she? I didn't yeah. see that. Something like oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's. Oh, I was going to bring up Young and May being on Clubhouse and it being over for you trying to bag chicks now, but I didn't know this <laughs> happened. I, my Young and May was different on my list. Oh yeah, well this is. She's not facing any serious charges. I hope. No. Okay. No. She'll be fine. All right. yeah. Um. Any music came out. I, I saw Raheem dropped. Yeah, my guy Raheem. Shout out Raheem in front of the show. Love Raheem. Shane yeah. I didn't say anything else. Shane oh, really? Yeah, uh, Droog. Your old Droog. Okay. Both dope projects. Uh, yeah, no, nah, Droog, Droog shit is really dope. Um, I like the Droog uh, album a lot. Joe, do you listen to Raheem album at all? Or just um, saw that drop? A little bit. No, okay. a little bit. I bought it. Yeah, I yeah, bought like- it, played a little bit this morning, and then got on my bullshit. But no, nah, I, didn't, I didn't finish it. Yeah, I like the EP a lot. Um, Blast. Blast, Blast put out his uh, deluxe. His deluxe, yeah. deluxe. Oh, it's a deluxe. These uh, deluxe oh. guys. I didn't, have the original, I didn't get it. Yeah, so this is new to me. <laughs> yeah, no, they're deluxing us. They're deluxing us away here. Uh, Rico Nasty put out an album or EP. What is it? No, it's an album. Last few Fridays for me have been a bit underwhelming, but not last Friday was crazy. But this this Friday, there's some good underground stuff, but not as much you know mainstream. Big. Melly and Black label. put out a record. Yeah. I didn't hear that. How was it? You heard it. Um, no, I didn't hear it. I thought you heard it. Oh, I did yeah, hear it. Yeah, I did hear it. it. Parts playing it. Yeah, so oh, yeah Joe actually good. thought uh, Droog was singing now because we went right from the Droog <laughs> we album. We went from the, <laughs> Droog, from the Droog album right to this. To her singing about her new man with a big dick or something. Yeah, I, I was, was like, like, is Droog trying to catch one? <laughs> 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 He's showing his artistry. Yeah. What the fuck? He's trying like, to from take. From her point of view. Yeah, He's trying yeah. to take the game somewhere. <laughs> You didn't see the sequencing in the album where this would fit? <laughs> on a Droog album? That's As the outro? That's I still want to know what's going on with Melly in regards to whatever that situation was with her on Tori's label. I still want to know. I'm curious, too. She's super All dope. the shit I really want to know from hip-hop, they suppress and hide it from me. I can see why good in this particular, particular case. Uh, yeah, I think until Is Melly it because I'm media? That probably is part of oh, it. Oh, I can keep a secret. I'm yeah. sure you could probably hit up Melly and figure out what's going on. This is why we need him all's phone. If I That's hit Melly, it's not going to be to say, hey, you and Tori's label situation, <laughs> what was happening? What's happening with that? So why would you hit her? To check on her well-being. That's what, that's what I wanted to do. No, you got to check on her well-being. That's yeah. a fact. No, that's, that's, that's super important. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. No, go ahead. Uh, Joyce Rice put out a, uh, her first single, So So Sick, mm. which is really dope. That record is really, really good. I like Joyce. Yeah, Joyce is dope. That one um, that's probably one of my favorite records of of the release days. But oh, Currency put out a a, a compilation. Currency's working, man. Didn't he just put one out? Yeah, last this is like with his, this is like with all his crew. Oh, okay. Yeah. Currency. It took me a while to find it, but man, get me to the first quarter releases. I'm done with all this filler and fluff. This is filler. and they fluff? They filler and fluffing me to death. Well, yeah, this is you know again. I'm you know. waiting for the blockbusters. I'm waiting for the jammy jams. You know who I'm waiting for? The lineup. The Avengers, the Transformers. Well, did, wait, I'm waiting, it's all going to be on HBO. I'm waiting so for the monsters <laughs> to didn't, come. Didn't Cole announce yesterday or two days ago that he was putting something out today? Did he? And I didn't or did see you anything. find another fake Jake? Yeah, Cole page. you know what Rory does. <laughs> no, it was a real, no, it was real. How about confirm things before you come on this podcast? No, it was. I'm telling <laughs> you, I went to this us. page because I thought it was a fake page. You're the it. <laughs> uh, J. Cole insider. That is true. Two days ago on J. Cole's Twitter, not a made up one. Ebony and Ivory available Friday. Oh, no. He, it's the sneakers drop. Oh. That's all. Oh, shout out to the sneakers, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, we getting the Ebony and Ivory pack. Nah. <laughs> yeah, right. no. Nah, it's just it's just the sneakers. Just right. sneakers. My bad. Yeah, all right. right. And, and, the, shout, and they did drop. Shout out to Cole's uh, sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> Some music would be nice, too. Yeah, it would. Yeah, but that's, would. that's that first quarter that I think Joe was talking about. Somebody had uh, DM me and said a... Uh, uh, a Drake What's like up, you want this pussy? Five <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get that deal? No, I didn't get that deal. You did. No, I didn't. You, they, did. you would have to respect you can't that. So what's up? It, but you did. No, I never got a DM like that. Yeah, what's up? You want this you want this throw baby? I never got that deal. <laughs> yes, you did. I would respond to it. Oh, no, we know. Who's the throw, baby? Don't mm-hmm. matter the throw, right? No, yo, it yo, which throw? No, <laughs> no, it matters. Yo, which throw? throw. It, she, the throat is important. Throw? Yeah, throat is important. She's got a throw. <laughs> yo, you got a throw? Yeah, throat is important. But no, they said uh, Drake was supposed to be putting out a little five pack or something. And then I heard some. Well, some Drake case. has an album coming. That he announced. They said before the album, 
It's going to warm it up. It was going to be like a little five pack that they dropped. That's what they said. And then uh, some dude in London was on IG Live and some Drake records had leaked. Why does London always get it first? I have no idea. <laughs> Every time. Every time. And he was playing a bunch of Drake records, but I didn't hear I it. I think it's because it. things have to be submitted over there before, over here. I think. Uh, no, I, I understand that when it leaks like the two days before, because yeah, they do get it earlier. Yeah. But I'm talking about like six months, of the whole album be playing in a London club. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. his test market. Put some, put some respect on Tim Westwood's name. Yeah, that's true. Yo, you're right. My Shout bad. out to Tim true. Westwood. You know what I mean? How's Tim like Westwood you, doing, Act man? like you don't know who Simtex be. I do. I do. Uh, know Simtex fuck you acting surprised about then? <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, we are going to talk about Tiana Taylor threatening us with retirement because that makes me sad. Cut it out, T. But I've been hearing rumblings. I've been hearing. I've been. The, the talk has been getting louder uh, surrounding Rihanna and how there are some fans that think because Anti was one of the greatest albums that. That should be her send off. Rihanna. That's getting. It's about getting that louder. I saw it's getting louder. That. It's getting louder. It is. Crazy. It's crazy. It, it shouldn't. Yeah, there are more and more people attempting to make sense of it. That doesn't make sense. That's just what people Sorry. do. People try to make sense of the shit that they come up with. But Rihanna is not retiring. Rihanna is just busy being a fucking empire and a businesswoman at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, but they're saying she should retire. Nah. Then Hell that's, no. Don't leave while you hot. That's how May screwed up. Psst. I'm not going to say that line to Mace. <laughs> it's just a fact, though. I love Mace, but it's just a fact. It would make no sense. But I feel Rihanna like I've heard high. y'all say before that you should leave on a high. Not like that. Not yeah, like that. Right. But I that mean, is a high. Leaving on a high and leaving on what this else type is of high. For like your, but what else is there for her to do? I'm not. All right. There's the Since I have to play devil's advocate now. There's the leaving the way John Elway left, where it's like, all right, you won a Super Bowl. I don't know but about how old... colonizers left. <laughs> Colonizers. <laughs> you tell me how John Elway. He colonized Denver. <laughs> <laughs> the Broncos. Yeah, I don't know, John. How did John Elway? He kind of did. He's still there. He's still there. Yeah, he is. There's a difference of maybe ending your career a year or two early when you win the Super Bowl when you're already old and towards the end of your career. Rihanna is not towards the end of her career. No, <laughs> not at all. Rihanna's in shape. Yes. You should continue to make music. Rory, how many more Rihanna albums do you think you're getting in your lifetime? Uh, Several. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Now, can you use your brain power and give me a number so we can really have the talk? Four or five. I'm, I would I, say maybe least, more. Maybe yeah. more. I agree with that. I don't, I, the only thing I would say is the makeup part. I would have said Four ten had, had Fenty not dropped. But once <laughs> that shit is like a little bit more on autopilot, the 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 bras and the makeup and all that shit, she's gonna go back to music. Yeah. Yeah. I think Rihanna likes making music. Yeah. Okay. And then the mu- the music industry since she's become artists has changed like the way you release it the way people can stream well she's been active since all that all those things happened no but i'm saying when she came in it was it just the game has changed a lot the music industry has changed so it's like now it's she doesn't really have to be like she can put put it out she can put out five records and it just be that you know what i mean and people will be fine with that they'll stream the shit out of that she can perform it. She can Rihanna's make a putting, dope visual she's not for putting it. out a five pack. I'm saying she can. I mean, she's it's, put out Lucy's before. Yeah, it's no rules. Like, there's no more rules in this shit, Joe. Like, you don't have to. Rihanna that. put out Lucy's before. Yeah, the uh, was it? Bitch, better have my money. I think was not on the album. One of those big records was yeah, not on the album. It was that one. Yeah, yeah. It it's, it's, one. it's just no rules. I like that song too. It was a huge yeah, song. song. Song is great. It's a monster, um, Lucy. Okay, so when you're asking that question, you seem. I don't know if you're just playing devil's advocate or really believe that we won't be getting I can't, five plus Rihanna albums I can't for believe, the rest of our lives. I can't believe that you think God we're willing. five more Rihanna albums. I, I don't think that at all. I don't think it'll be anytime soon. And I think that every female artist has to give us their album once Look they reach you demanding a certain, things from women. That's misogynist. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> once, they, once they reach a certain me. point yeah. in their life, like motherhood, like it's just different <laughs> content now. Like they create different content. Beyonce no, did it. Like all I mean, the great he's not wrong. artists have done it. Like you, you, you grown. Tiana to a woman. just had a baby, and we're about to talk about her retirement. Tiana, but not she put retiring. out a fire album, and she's retiring. This That's year. exactly what I just brought up about Rihanna. She put out two albums since she had the baby, didn't she? No. Yes, I think she did. Yes, the Kanye album, this one this year. Yes, two. I don't know. I don't think we're getting five albums from Rihanna, and I don't think that she should not put out music anymore because Anti was great. Uh, Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor, I just wanted to point out that the talk was getting louder. Tiana Taylor, mm-hmm. when I walked in here, apparently she's retiring, and I had no idea. 
And she said this on Instagram. Wow, who did that? Y'all did that. Thank you. I ain't going to front. In times of feeling super underappreciated as an artist, receiving little to no real push from the machine, constantly getting the shorter end of the stick, being overlooked. I mean, the list goes on and on, LOL. I'm retiring this chapter of my story with the comfort that I can depart with peace of mind, seeing that all the hard work and passion put in was indeed loved and supported somewhere in the world. To all my supporters from day one and all my new ones, I love you and I thank you for everything. And don't worry, y'all know all the hustlers have an understanding that when one door closes, another will open. Either that or I'm picking the locks, Petunia. So what's up? She's got to have a Def Jam gig lined up. I, w- I mean, if Def Jam was smart, but I don't know if I don't know if Tiana's taking a Def Jam gig. Is, is my she thoughts. doesn't seem to really like the music industry bullshit, so I don't know if I could see her she, getting a label She would label body job. a creative director position there for but sure i don't know if she's taking that do y'all believe this I don't retirement think money for do, y- no. do y'all believe this first of all mall says no parks no, no. i don't rory what say you no. i don't only because i don't want tiana just to stop making music and i think she'll get the bug. Well, she's you- such a creative i think she may not feel like she wants to make music right now but i think that bug will come back <laughs> yeah you, every you niggas answer every question selfishly why well i can only- y'all never y'all never seem to attempt to put yourself in that person's shoes that's, then, not, that's then, not what I'm doing right here at all. I, I'm saying that she's a, a super creative person, and I think creative people move on to other creative things but still get that same bug from what they used to uh, love. Listen, it's just this simple. Name an artist that has announced a retirement and stayed retired. Joe. You just said... I don't care what I said. I'm <laughs> telling you an artist that said he retired you, and stayed you retired. not retired. Cut it out. But I stayed retired. <laughs> no, you have not. How many bars have you written in the past five years? Who fucking knows. A lot. Not a lot. I feel like y'all just look for something no. to debunk the whole rappers can retire theory. No, no I, just, I just don't I think, think there's a lot of evidence I, that they don't. I don't. They I haven't. Don't, and by the way, I think they can. They I'm not haven't, saying they but don't. they can. I just think creative people, when they love a certain type of art, they continue to I do it. I retired <laughs> after like 17 projects. Retiring after two albums. It's not a real thing. When one of them was oh, 17 minutes. It's not a real thing. Like she may be, you know, stepping away from recording and focusing on other adventures and other things that she wants to do. But when you're an artist, you're always going to create. Yeah. You're always going to create art. You're always going to, you know. I can 100% understand why she feels like she wants to retire. Her last album, she didn't even hear it until it came out. And this one maybe was underappreciated by. uh, It was really good. It was a really good album. And it was probably underappreciated by the Grammys and so on and so forth. So I completely understand why she might be like, man, fuck this. It was a real good album. Get Def Jam on the line. <laughs> Call them. I know I know what that is that I hear in her voice. I do. Yeah, it's not retirement. It's uh fuck this shit. Detachment and yeah, it's, independence. It's sound like all love lost. Yes, yeah, the R and B version. You uninspired by the bullshit that has nothing to do with creative. Yeah. Yeah. You like, look that's at, it. I didn't even put piece together the correlation between the streams that she posted and the message. Mm. And she just said it like Wow. See, I I don't know how that feels because I never streamed. Like I, mm. I I sold a couple records, but they jerked me. You're not supposed to get paid on your records. So uh, <laughs> this is different. 162 million streams, all of these fans, 50 million listeners. Yeah, 8.4 million hours of listening. Oh, yeah, man. I think all that says to uh, T is um from and from what she's saying is she just wants to be independent. Yeah, I don't think she wants some people. Sign. I think should be. Yeah, absolutely. And, and she's one of them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she's definitely one of the artists that should be. So again, retire, no. Get away from the label structure and all of that and be independent. Fuck yes. that shit. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what this is. But either way, she's a, a talented artist. She's amazing. She's amazing. Um, you know, she's one of these people that we need in our culture. She's an yeah. inspiration for a lot of young girls and a lot of young women. So we need her. The other part of, of retiring artists that we didn't get into, because this has nothing to do with Tiana, I can see artists trying to retire themselves before they're retired. Like, let me end this before the fans end it or before the industry ends it. Let me go out on my terms. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd like to end this thing, not it just run its course because I'm no longer going to be relevant or cared for at all. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to do it on my terms. Have we seen that, though? Seen what? Seen someone retire because they feel like the. Uh, the I've seen. I've seen I'm going to fight shipping. every one of you. What? You, Stop you, that doing that. What? You? You yeah, what the fuck do I have to do in here? 
Your last album was stop the intercepting. One album stop I'm, intercepting flowers, <laughs> or stop avoiding flowers. I got a flower somewhere to be, somewhere to be had in this take. Say, it don't on, have to be a dozen on, roses. The, 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 the singular rose, yeah, the singular rose, the singular rose will it. do just fine. Right outside the club, just this grab me. Y'all be right in front. Has there ever been <laughs> anyone that took it on their own and just said, you know what? I can't think of I'm who. going out of my own name. And I think it was a guy. He ripped jersey. I'm not sure. <laughs> I feel like there's someone. <laughs> oh, uh, Red Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sick of y'all. That's hilarious. But I do understand. I do understand. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this breaking news? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It is. Breaking news. Breaking news. Our next verses is in. I don't know where I stand. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Ashanti versus Keisha Cole. Yes, sir. It's actually a good battle. It is a good battle. Yeah, I'm not okay. mad at this one at all. Ashanti okay. got bigger, big records. Yeah, so. yeah. Keisha got some shit, man. I mean, she does. She does. Ashanti, she probably got better albums. Ashanti records. about to have a long night. No, nah, Ashanti. Y'all keep up. laughed me out the room. Ashanti, when I up. said it months ago, there's some of y'all that think that I just cling on to predictions, reaching for shit. But if Savon did his job, we would have this stuff. <laughs> I said Keisha Cole's a problem, and all I heard was ka 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 ka. No one it's laughed like at you by <laughs> saying Keisha Cole makes good music. Yeah, no, like that one Cole. person. It might have been. You might have. You might have. You might have. Nobody would laugh at you that. Keisha Cole makes good music. You might have named, named a battle. That's no, I said Keisha. I didn't. I you named a bunch of battles. Somebody. Yeah, and anyway, we probably would have laughed at. The, I said a Keisha Cole and Shanti, and we laughed that out the room. Yes. F- find it. I know you never do. Do your job, bitch. How about that? Please. You don't have to remember shit. Listen back. Audio recordings. But anyway, here we go. Please find the, find it. It doesn't matter. Y'all be wrong all the time. Here we go. <laughs> what do you think of this? Let's hear it now. It's here. Hmm. 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 Uh, I'm Ashanti. sticking with what I said originally. Long day for Ashanti, even though she has bigger records. She has features. Rain on me is a point. What is that? Rain on me is a point. Uh, I don't Ashanti care what I don't couple, care what Keisha Ashanti Cole has a couple couple more points uh, than just yeah, Rain on me. She got a lot of points. I don't know. What's the other ones? Baby. I'm real, J Lo, Ja Rule. Yeah, I don't think there's a guarantee point. I don't know. We'll and what's and what's baby? You want me to sing it? <laughs> yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, 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 baby. Uh, foolish. Brandy, always on time. Yeah. Ashanti, what are you talking about, Brandy? You can pull it up. You have uh, it. Uh, yeah, what's love it. with Fat Joe? You know what's like, in she has joints. <laughs> she has a lot you of joints. You got baby in your Serato. Like, hit. Big, I, yeah, I think you have hits. Ashanti, especially features wise, a little fucked Rock up. Rock with you. I just think she's gonna have a long day. Yeah, I'm, I'm very that, fami- that, I'm very realize, familiar. I'm very familiar with Keisha Cole. Though, like to say someone's gonna have a long day is kind of implying that they may get washed. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, that's. Not I what think I'm this is gonna be a great battle. That's not what I'm saying. It's Win be, yeah. or lose for Ashanti, it's a long day is ahead. That's what it means. Oh, she's, yeah, well, she's dealing with a, very, an opponent that this has. Is this is not really going to be Brandy this Monica. Matchup. This is a good matchup. This is a good, this is a good matchup. That was a good matchup. Yeah, too. I was going to say Brandy Monica was like a. a was the only fight. low part was who shot you. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm picking Keisha Cole in this. Okay, I am. I'm not I mad. See, at no, I'm not I'm mad. I'm, 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 mad at I'm standing firm. Rory's trying to bully me out of my pick. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Rory's trying to bully me out of my pick. He is. Shanti got joints. All right, well, all right, we'll play one then. And a Shanti joint? Yeah, play one. Or just sing it. You got joint. Actually, <laughs> just sing it. Roars. Let's stick with hit it, sing. roars. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's stick with the JBP <laughs> sings Ashanti sings. <laughs> always there when you call, <laughs> but I'm always to that on time. <laughs> oh, and I gave that. Listen you to that my oh, That's an alto, actually. Now, baby, be mine. <laughs> the voice of an angel, Rory. Can you put some some tune on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no problem. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> this is a tough record. Yo, don't force me to get into my Keisha Cole set. I got YouTubers trying to listen. (laughs) YouTubers, I am (laughs) bopping him over the head with Keisha Cole right now. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay. I like the. Hold up. Hold up. Nah. 
No, talk right now because she's about to get to the bridge and then no, you're going to walk, you're gonna then, then you're gonna walk your white talk, ass to the monster. I want to talk about Keisha Cole versus Shanti. I want to talk about me singing Ashanti versus Joe singing Keisha Cole. Yeah, I think I battle. won that round. That's I just battle. won that round. You did win that round. It's one on me. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't pull up a song to match my tenor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing in this key. <laughs> hey! This that shit, though. Listen, no man. What is Shanti gonna do when this come on? She better play a big boy. That's all I'm saying. You have to. Gotta be a big boy. Don't play around with her. Uh, Keisha Cole gonna dig in her missy bag. It's gonna be a long day. Ow! Yeah, Keisha does have that missy bag. Listen, man. Stand from heaven. Oh, come on, man. Come no, on, she man. Got, she got uh, Keisha Cole got records. And if Hell any, long. and if any of you have ever. Attempted to speak to all the women that you've hurt from your past, like way after you hurt them. They relate oh, to Keisha. They all brung up. I should have cheated, Keisha Cole. Every last one of them. <laughs> Every last one of them. Yeah. So I don't know if the chicks. I think they might feel an emotional connection to some of them. That nigga ain't shit records. Sure. We're so dope. Ashanti running around looking happy, looking beautiful. She's in the Joiner Lucas vid. Well, don't, don't say that. She's on that, Weight Watchers now. Don't say Weight Keisha Watch. Cole is not I don't know. She just looks good. I don't know. Happy, though. She, Ashanti does. Wait, what? Great. They both look great. Don't say that. that Keisha's not also happy and looks good. <laughs> I didn't say that. But you said, never mind. I said Ashanti's running around I'm happy looking good. I'm just letting you know good. the DM you're going to get. I didn't I'm say trying to nothing clean it up about early. Keisha Cole. <laughs> Mm. Listen, man. Shanti looks good. Look, I know. Now, that's a point. It ain't a pictures that's versus. A that's a yeah, point well. right there. That's a point. <laughs> it ain't a pictures <laughs> versus. It might be. I hear what y'all talking about. Oh, that's a point, though. Like, that, that blue? I'm going to fuck what record comes on after yeah. that. Yeah. That's a point. That yeah. little bathtub pick is yeah, kind of yeah, nice. That's too. a point. Yeah, yeah, that's a point. Yeah. IG is a point. I don't have the other. Hey, go back to uh, Ashanti's list because this list looks nuts. He's I don't know if foolish is a guaranteed point, but that would be the closest one. No, besides no, rain on the, me. I'm real. I'm not as big on that as y'all are, especially in a verse. Uh, rock, rock with you. I don't know if that goes against. I should have cheated, but rock with you is a point. She gonna get in there and play all the Ja Rule joints. She and, got right? and Fat Joe records. South Side with Why Lloyd is a point. Keisha Cole, baby, we got two weeks to do some features. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you better call Jermaine Dupree, Puff Dre. <laughs> Cool and Dre. Oh, man. Manny Fresh. Oh, man. Point. No, That's a point. Sorry. No way. <laughs> what? This is not no a point. No way. No way is this a guaranteed point. It. Where is this not a point? <laughs> On versus. This is you not are, a guaranteed I'll, point. I'll bet you whatever you want to bet that this is a point. <laughs> I, I take the bet. I don't I don't think this Would is a guaranteed okay, point. So let's, let's, and let's, I also think I'm savvier than you, so I'm taking it. Let's, okay. All of you. Okay, so let, let's I do this. I don't think that's a guaranteed point. What does Keisha play after that? Let's say that Ashanti just played that record. And I don't think that's late in Ashanti's catalog. Like, no. I think she might play that a little early. Yeah. Whenever she plays it, I don't think it's a guaranteed point. And I'm not sure what Keisha would play there. Okay, do you think this Maybe is... Maybe she got to dig in her... One of them Alicia Keys records beats that. Is this a point? No. Now Southside's not a point? This is a loss. All right. Damn. That's tough. You are bugging. I have no idea what y'all are talking about. Man, I can't I'm, believe you don't think the Fat Joe record is Yeah, this, this is an L too right here, right? Quick L. Shit. Quick, quick L on God, this shit, on memory. Come on, like, yeah. This might be two points. <laughs> <laughs> this might be two. Oh, come on, man. So she's going to play a hook? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the verses yet? Hey, I don't know if you're familiar with this platform, Joe. Y'all niggas don't get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> <That's a point. laughs> I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. All right. She got junk. She got records. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm in the minority. I don't think this is a guarantee point either. You know what the other guarantee point is? Boom, 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 boom. That one. Keisha Go? No, uh, uh, Shanti. Boy, I can't wait to get next to you. Women oh, like oh, that a lot. Um, Only yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you? Women like that a lot. That's, that's if, a if, she, if she's doing her Ja Rule bag, always on time is a point. Uh... She's got another she's one that's a guarantee. She's, she's got another one. She's got another one that I think hits. is a guaranteed point. So listen, my opinion, because I think y'all looking at me like I'm stupid right now. I give Ashanti like five guaranteed points. Okay. Facts. And then after guaranteed that, points. I don't give Keisha maybe maybe one guaranteed point. Maybe one. 
But over the course of the 20... I get it. I'm with you. I, I said that from the rip. Keisha Cole probably has better like album cuts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, without, without question. Yeah. It has better album cuts. I but think about it... When Ashanti's we, got the smashes. When does, Ashanti, when does Ashanti's weaker 10 play? First or second? First. You play that first. We would assume, think, yeah. right? Because some of these, the they'd way. be switching it up. Yeah. Nah, nah. You wanna, she has a lot of hook fillers that could kill that first 10 where she could really play her shit on the Cause last Because some time. of them Jaru records, she don't have 90 seconds of her. She does. I mean, and she that's gonna, the hook. That's going to sound the way if you just play the hook you're on and the four bar bridge and now you have to cut it off. She has to let some of the verse rock, right? Yeah. Uh, what, did, what did Payne do when he was playing his hooks? Payne has long bridges on the, slower that, that joints. That's also that's at the true. point. He when, has a whole verse on joints. <laughs> that was also at the point when you could play no, his full hooks records. are way longer than. That was before most Instagram hooks. started hating. Okay. And you could play fuller songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more, gotcha, more gotcha, of the gotcha. song. Let me use. Uh, do we respect it if she plays this because it wasn't really the version we rocked with? <laughs> she will play this, but and she's gonna play her version of the J Lo joint. No, nah, she should just play the I'm real re- record as is. Turns off a minute. Yeah. Because her vocals are on that one. <laughs> yeah, they're on I the back. I think y'all getting yeah. Keisha fucked up, man. Let's I'm not getting Keisha fucked up at all. I mean, That's you're just point. getting the I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is a point, though. Huh? This is a point. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't think this is just... I don't... No, we agree. She has all right, that... album cuts. You're the only yeah. one that's saying it's going to be lopsided. <laughs> We're saying the opposite. I don't know. I think Ashanti might might sleep on Keisha. I know one thing. This this is gonna be a lot of ladies in them comments. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have every Keisha Cole album, and there's a lot of this. Yeah. No, I, I'm I'm agreeing with you. These ain't even my songs that I like. Like these is just the ones that worked. Yeah, I don't want to hear all that shit Rory is talking about, man. He making me mad, honestly. <laughs> honestly, he making me mad. I don't want to hear that no, old this, school this, shit no more. This is a point on... I don't care who you against this point. Yeah. New Keisha. That's Missy voice, Maul. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. Huh? Huh? Missy wrote this and Keisha sung it. They didn't give it to somebody. <laughs> 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 hey, they they kept this hit for themselves. <laughs> Ashanti's like a little girl in high school. Hey, hey, listen, man, I'm just <laughs> telling you what happened, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm talking shit, man. But you man, are shady, man, when is that? When is this battle? December 12th. Oh, oh it's so coming up. Wait, whoa, hold That's up. Weekend. Next Friday? Yeah. That's no, sh- next Saturday. Next Saturday. Sorry. That's oh, short. Lit. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I've, I've hate when they've announced these and it's like a month later. Yeah, I don't like that either. Oh, great. I'm not mad. What day is what day is that for? Saturday? Saturday. Hey. hey, hey, hey. Oh, late. we got to turn it up then for this. Yeah, this is going to be this is going to be uh, one of those. I might need I got to be surrounded by the Jezebels when this drop. <laughs> I got to have them around me when this come out, huh? I don't know if the, the, the new Jezebels might not be in too much into this. The mid-range. What new Jezebels? Need the mid-range. The new Jezebels that are flocking around. You need like 20, 28 you need 20, to, you need 20, 20 to 30. 10, yeah. yeah, you need yeah. 2010 Jezebels for this. Maybe like a 1994 cap. Nah, yeah. you can bring the young joints through and school them. Nah, because they just <laughs> keep asking, oh, what is this? <laughs> Who sings That's this? That's like... The girl playing the record Listen, sings this. Listen, check this out. In 05, when this dropped right here, oh, oh my God. Oh, 05? <laughs> I was, I was like, in sixth grade. I was like seven. <laughs> Listen, Amazora used to go crazy oh when this God. one. <laughs> two, and two used to be on tilt when this came on. <laughs> yeah, this is exciting, man. This is exciting. I'm it with is. this. Love to both of these ladies, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but the last time I saw Shanti, she stepped to me. <laughs> <laughs> she thought I had smoke, and I don't. About what? I don't know. I don't remember the things I'd be saying, but I've never had smoke. <laughs> Dis Nelly? No. Oh, okay. Why are you spreading a business? I think she would uh, look out for her loved ones. I'm a, I'm excited about this. Me too. Is yeah, this the battle bad. he was talking about that's going to bring New York back? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I don't okay, listen. Well, I don't know. I hope not. I don't know. Um, yeah. I met Keisha in New York. She was in New York when it popped. Yeah. And I don't even like that scream man and Savon quiet over there like she don't represent L.I. Mm. Oh, no, they going crazy. They going crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. Nah, but you realize you you guys are now 
us against Atlanta. Like, we're trying to turn this versus thing around. <laughs> but Chauncey looks good. Looks mm. good. Damn, I didn't even think of it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even factor like, that yo, yo, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, I ain't even factor that. Who, who, who's going to win the outfit war? Probably Ashanti. I think Ashanti might pick up that Fashion Nova bag. Get a, get a couple... Throw a couple extra dollars in there. <laughs> that right there would have won it. What Keisha coming in with? No, she gonna have that shit on too, though. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Keisha, Keisha I get never, fly too. I never twisted it. Yeah, Keisha get fly. Will Keisha's mom be in attendance? I think both the moms. Oh, yeah. This is a mom battle too. I didn't even yeah. think about that. <laughs> this is the mom battle. Yeah. I'm going Frankie. I don't know, man. Miss Frankie. Give me Miss Frankie. <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas are such fans. Y'all know about moms and uh, uh, Shanti oh, don't know about shit. Keisha Cole's mom. Are you, she's a legend. Shanti's mom owned the dance studio on Jamaica Avenue. Don't don't put her down. I didn't put yeah. anyone down. Bro. No, well, he's saying Frank. He's, he's I'm not talking to you. I'm talking oh. to all. That, well, let that, me move. Sorry. That <laughs> that he's just gonna take Frankie off the rip. Like I don't know. Love Frankie. Shout out to Miss Frankie. All right. Well, I'll be watching on Saturday. Absolutely. That was exciting. Yeah. All right. Oh, do they like each other? Is there beef? No, I can't see that. Nobody. Are they going to be catty? Look at you and women. Now, nah, that's always a... Are they you know, going to be that, catty? That just, shows up. that just shows up. That's part of it with women. these are two divas. Yeah, that just, that's going to be in a room. They're, they're kind of divish. Look at you in women's business. <laughs> I'm always in women's <laughs> business, right? <laughs> like your whole rap career. Um, what? <laughs> it's a good rap career. What else Here's is happening? Flower. What else is going on that's important for us to get to? Come on, this HBO topic is burning a hole in parks. I can see it. <laughs> What HBO did taking over the they world. Won. <laughs> if they won, yeah, they won. It's they, over. They came through with the it's Thanos over. glove for real. It's over now, man. I watched that little trailer thing of Majiggy they put out. Yeah, I watched like it. Too. Oh, and that, and that, not true. And that, <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's what I said watching the trailer. Yeah, some of these corporate suits, man, y'all just overthink shit because y'all don't know shit about shit. Yeah, and you're trying to capitalize and maximize and find a way to keep every dollar and build your monopolies. Just like the edit button seemed so simple on Twitter, it seemed like such a simple solution for you studio houses that make movies and own streaming services to yeah. say, hey, same day release. What? They yeah. dropped a beat out when that happened. <laughs> The letters got big. <laughs> they started come, same day release. <laughs> wait, I was home like, ah, wait, what? are you kidding me? Yo. It's now be- this is coming off of, and I may jeopardize a future Netflix check here, but boy, have they been trash. Yeah, it's been a little slow. The no, Queen, it's been a lot of slow yeah. for months. The Queen's Gaming thing was cool, but that's no, not enough. No, please. To, fuck out of here. I don't even, that's not enough. You wasn't feeling no, that? That's not enough. That was a good show, but it's Cool. Not, not yeah. enough. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, HBO, when HBO gave us uh, the undoing. Everything? The undoing and, and every other good show. Euphoria. Yeah, and the... Uh, where, where, where was Ozark? That's Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. I'll go Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, because the next season is the last one. True. You're gonna have Strong. to find. Hey, <laughs> you made Hove make another one. <laughs> make another Ozark. Yeah, yeah Ga- Queen's Gambit and the fucking The Beast. That's not doing it. Whatever. What else they got on Netflix? A bunch of bullshit. It's been slow for a long time, and here comes HBO, who's been great for a long time. I just started. Uh, I was watching the How I Murdered My Mom's Murder. My Mom's Murderer. I was gonna watch kid. that. I watched that <laughs> four part. Is that good? Uh, it's good if you're into like a doc. It's, it's like a doc. Uh, I like docs. And I, I like started it. It started who slow. Done it? It's, it's it starts, slow. It starts, starts slow. <laughs> but I really like people investigating murders. Cracking the case. So I watched it. I started last night. Uh, what else on but HBO? Netflix, Some Netflix shit had a few of those, though. They did. Good murder. It's not, been a it's while. Not, I mean, it's, they not, the, it's not fast enough. They should yeah. be able to turn out those unsolved mysteries a little quicker than they have been. Because that show's good. Yeah. Well, but, Netflix don't want to partner with nobody to actually distribute content faster. Uh, they should partner with somebody. Yeah. When the HBO announcement came out, I was like, oh, what the fuck can y'all do? It's HBO. We have partnered with someone. Oh, wait a minute. 
Boy, did they. Not just someone. They partnered yeah, with just Warner. Warner Brothers. Yeah, that's yeah. not just someone. That's and they have some the deal Warner. where they're going to release all the Warner Brothers stuff on HBO the same day it's released in the movies. I'm amped. I'm here for that. Mm-hmm. They were already winning. I was telling you, I started that show last night called uh, Cult of Cults. What's that? They're on HBO Max? It's about a cult. I like cults. It's about a cult, and they all died. I think it's T and T and Doe are the two people's names that was running the cult. 37 people, mass suicide, 1997. Oh, and this is a f- another four-part series. HBO? HBO. HBO, not for nothing. Their batting percentage is crazy. Historically. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the staple. Yeah. yeah they're, before we even knew what a Netflix was, it was HBO. Yeah. So, And I, f- I think, you know, this was right on time. And they know that the, the pandemic, theaters being closed. We were just talking about not being able to see Tenet. And not knowing where we could. I started tenant on uh, Plex last night because it's on Plex early. Looks mm-hmm. good. Yeah, it looks good. They yeah. invented this TV series shit that's an hour long. That's better yeah. than a movie. Yeah, that just, is extremely. Complex. Everyone took it's HBO's not just a simple blueprint. sitcom. Like, sure, yeah. that's true. Everyone yeah. took yeah. HBO's blueprint. Not only are and we going to have a mob show, he's going to be in therapy. But now right. that like it's the, crushed. The HBO buildings invented this the, shit. They yeah. crushed the buildings with this movie announcement. Yeah, it's crazy. I know I'm phony, man, but I'm riding with HBO. I still think that that Peacock thing NBC is doing is oh, going to be something. Crush, Saint crush the building too. That's going to be something. <laughs> Parks, when I read <laughs> when I read Netflix's announcement that The Office was leaving uh, this month, I could hear the sadness through the text. <laughs> For real, they tried to do it smooth. Are you yeah. sure? We can't work this out. <laughs> they tried to do it smooth. It's like with Spotify. I said, hey, we made them an offer, but they got to go. I heard the sadness, even though they tried to be smooth about not liking me. Well, it's me. a sad day when the office says we're leaving. Yeah. That's yeah. a sad day. For we any was, executive. We was hyping up Disney Plus. It's quiet. What happened well, with that? With new stuff. I wouldn't say it's, it's quiet. It's solid. The Mandalorian is a hit. Uh, niggas ain't running over there. I ain't heard a peep about Disney Plus. No, nah, The Mandalorian's a hit. I see a lot of people talking about that. No, I haven't. Uh, that's a hit. And they have Dif- all the classic shit. Different but. chatty rooms. Rory, can you stop bringing that place <laughs> up on this podcast? <laughs> well, HBO Max gave us some dope shit already, like yeah. the last four months. So. Yeah. And the last. But what years, I'm saying yeah. about Disney, the talk before Disney released, it seemed like it was going to. Was be- that it was coming to shut things down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing near a shutdown has happened. No. I don't care about whatever show that is that's winning. I haven't seen enough from them. I don't know. Listen, anytime we had to talk before, we used to talk about the staples that are here and just here to stay. And my position was, I don't know who's here to stay because I think people are positioning for the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. And there are a few people that, man, it's going to be hard to budge them out that spot when they get there. HBO is one of them. Definitely. Netflix has to be shitting bricks. I would think so. I don't know what but they, it's a real, but it's they a real, got a play coming. But it's a real arrogant position. No, there's no play. Your play, the, your plays are over. We don't know that. That's you can't true. say that about you can't Netflix. Say that. You can't say you can't that. Say that. Y'all can't tell me what I can say. You can't <laughs> say Netflix play is over. I can say have, whatever I want to say. Too much money up there, but that's just not a, a smart thing to say. I think that just you. acquiring other shows has been a bad Netflix, strategy. They don't have no play. Shit. You think they don't have no play coming? I think that, like I said, however many long ago, however long ago that was, we had this talk. I think that they have investors that lend them money to spend it on these movies. And I think that they have to continue to spend bigger and bigger to produce, which could be difficult when you're not the only player in the field anymore. It's my same point that I was making about Spotify. Yes, Spotify is a staple. Everybody has it. But I don't know how much money they're making on the music. So actually I do, but I won't say. Um, Damn, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Netflix. Oh, about Spotify. Yes, their position is strong. I don't think their position will continue to get strong when they have to spend $100 million for anything to work. It's the same thing. Netflix is in that position. And they've been reporting on that since before Disney Plus came out. Like, yo, I don't know how Netflix can keep up with this output because now we're in the game of these places have to have original content and Netflix has to make it. Which is why I'm confused of why they're not reaching out to the. Well, no, they they, they just did the Shonda. Um, damn, who, who just did the deal? Shonda Rhimes. Yeah, Shonda Rhimes yeah. just did a big Netflix deal. Like that's yeah. important. They need to do a few more of those. Uh, Issa Rae. 
Well, and, and uh, did like her Netflix more deal. stuff, I think, would probably be more, a strong niche More comedy niche for stuff, but that's the niche. That yeah. is going to be the niche. I don't think Netflix is here to play the niche game. I think they need more. That's what I think. It might be tough, though, because getting content, now that all it the belongs big to, studios, It belongs everywhere. Yeah, now that NBC has their own it's shit. It's why Rory Warner. can't play music on InstaLive now. He used to give up the great, greatest jam sessions. Can't do it now. Know why music don't belong to Instagram. It don't belong to Rory. Yeah. It's happening all but over. Think, but I think yeah. that... That is such a label thing of you're stepping over a dollar to make a penny yeah. by shutting down people promoting music that you own. 100%. <laughs> Just because it's on another app or 100%. a third-party app. That's a really short-sighted way to look at things. But, yeah, I think I think that game that Netflix started of just trying to acquire really expensive series and shows is, is not paying off. Well, we're all Focus those... On no. original shit. We're all those... I don't know that they were... All super expensive shows. I could be wrong. No, I don't know no, no, Ozark. no, Ozark. Ozark was a, was a grip. Ozark is at the expensive. Beginning? The fucking. Well, did they it develop it Ozark? Like it a lot. No, did they Ozark buy Ozark? Did it they develop like it or buy it? I like, don't did know. Because that no, that changes things. You just buying something that would have already been like if you're buying The Office right now, it's right. A already established series. Absolutely. Ozark, I thought was an original I thought Netflix so thing. I thought like so. sometimes Netflix catches a lick, like on that you show. Yeah. When everyone's like, yo, you know that was out like four years ago and no one watched it. Yeah. I'm sure Netflix caught a really low price on that and sure. it caught because there was a community at Netflix. Netflix I has, just think they rely on that too much and it doesn't always catch one. How many of those you moments? Not not many they, at all. Not very many. They've had a lot. And they, mm. I don't think so. There's been a, the cats, the dude killing the cats and the uh, Ozark and... Um, well, that's why I was asking Ozark. I don't know. I don't want to say that. Okay. Was Ozark out well before it was I don't on Netflix? So. I don't believe so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it was developed by... They've had some hit that's shows. That's what I keep saying. When I said, yeah. where's Ozark? Mindhunter. They've had and hit you shows. said Netflix. They definitely Tell me shows. where Ozark is originally uh, aired. Oh, well, I'm sure a production company... Uh, is it Netflix? Netflix. Yeah, yeah, I think it, a it. production company put it together and then sold it to Netflix. But it yeah. wasn't something that aired... And then yeah, it didn't air anywhere. Well. It, it aired originally on Netflix. Netflix needs a move. They do. They do. I'm with you on that. 100. That that's that's where I am. They need a couple. They, cannot, they need a couple moves. They cannot continue to do what they're doing. Oh no, that's, and, I agree with you on that. And keep their same but spot in the because, marketplace. They can't. No, Especially I, if they keep raising the that. price. But you was just saying that they. Well, they raised the price because that was the pat some of the play. Right. Raising the price. They have their investors that they got to go to and present shit to, and I don't think what they're presenting looks good. <laughs> Okay. Not right now. We don't know what they have in the cut. Yeah. And I don't think it's looked good for a little while. It's been a, a cold at least eight months. If I had to least. guess, I would say they begged Kevin Hart to walk in his living room and do something. Probably. Yeah. I wouldn't I, be surprised by that at all. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised at that. Yeah, of course. But they should crush the comedy thing because that has been kind of a home for yeah. stand up specials. Yeah, I don't think that's And HBO used much. to own that, mm -hmm. to be clear. And because I think a lot of comedians are so focused on the community more than the money so it's like all right if if for example even I'm, hulu has a huge community or amazon does as well as far as shows go sure but they're gonna go with where the comedy crowd goes yeah and they'll take less money for it because in the long run they'll make more yeah hulu is kind of more like a spotify to me and that it's mostly uh regurgitated content yeah. from from the networks yeah. they have a couple original mm -hmm. shows that sometimes are very good but for the most part it's just here's you know nbc's catalog and here's whoever fx this is us Set Hulu on fire. Yeah. But when the Peacock comes through and crushes the building again, it's going to get sticky for, for Hulu. Yeah. They got to show me that. They got to show me how, how, how sticky it would get for Listen, when you Listen, when you come through with Friends, The Office, Seinfeld, This Is Us, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a handful of other massive, massive yeah. shows. See, but for you me, know. for me, yes, Peacock NBC is going to kill because y'all have Saturday all y'all have the shows yeah, yeah. that kill. But what it does to the rest of the marketplaces because I always say that each one of them only needed one of those. Netflix only needed an office. Mm -hmm. Hulu maybe only needed a whatever that show. Friends. So if NBC is taking all of those out of the marketplace, everybody's man for themselves. So what that does for the field is what I want to see. I know what yeah. NBC is going to look like. They're not worried about anything. No. Hey, give us our shit. We're doing our own thing. Everybody else, cool. But y'all still got to work out here. So I want to see what it looks like. I do. Me too. At, at what point do you think companies like Verizon and cable providers just give up and focus on the phone and Wi-Fi only? It's coming. It's coming. 
It's been that, coming. Yeah, because y'all are saying like it's looking been doing it. slow for other people. No, it's slow for cable. <laughs> no, absolutely. For sure, traditional Without cable. And this is all just going to end up costing us the same amount as traditional cable. Because I was looking at all they have listed here, and I was adding it all up. I was like, all right, yeah, I guess that's about cable if I buy all of these. Yeah. Close. Close still a little it. bit It's still cheaper. a little cheaper, but But it's... then if I get cable, then now I'm doubling what my bill would have been a month. The nice, the nice thing that I hope that they don't change about this is that if there's like, for instance, power on stars, I might not really watch much else on stars. So when that's off, I can cancel the subscription for a couple months, mm-hmm. pick Which it back I, up. I'm the king of that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, just float in and out when shit is yeah. that I want to see is there. Yeah. Which is nice. You can't really do that with cable. Have, yeah, having that option is just cool. Yeah, like, I don't need this anymore. I'm cool. Yeah. I'll come back to it when something else is here. YouTube t- TV, uh, they got to be in some type of talks for some type of move, too. Because they when they when them having the NBA Finals, yeah, uh, that was big. They've been trying to... They have, like, the, the TV, live TV thing. Mm-hmm. I don't use it, but... I'm surprised it hasn't caught on more. I think I that's where YouTube TV can kill the way we're talking about basic cable. Like, I like basic cable because I like to be able just to turn on a football game real quick. Right. Like, I'm one of those people that enjoys that part of cable. I don't yeah. need to find a link. I don't need to do this shit. Like, let me just turn on the game. Yeah. That's that, why I, I think pay, YouTube I TV can Sunday kill ticket. in that world. Yeah. I pay for the like, Sunday ticket. Like, let me just turn on the regular cool. basic shit that cable has always had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, then you have the antenna, too. Not for nothing. For all you cord cutters out there, you can get the NBC, CBS, all that shit. Just from the air. YouTube ain't going nowhere. No, no, no of no. course God, not. No. That's yeah. not what we're no. suggesting oh, no. at all. They'll be there. They're a staple here. <laughs> they're, they're, they're they've done enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're very comfortable. Yeah, trust and believe. Yeah. Uh, they damn near invented streaming. <laughs> right. <laughs> Netflix needs more culture. Mm, I agree. Valid. Am I that guy now? I mean, start okay. saying, and, and if you are, that's okay. It's okay to be that guy. That's why I said they should lean into the stand up thing. Like, I, I get frustrated on Netflix because stand up, you know how they like the categories when you pull up the app? Yeah. I don't ever get the stand up. And I watch almost exclusively stand up on Netflix and they don't have like a stand up. That should be the highlighted fucking like thing. Like an area. Yeah. More yeah. marketing to culture, less marketing to pedophiles. Uh, well, that I won't disagree with. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand the uh, reference. That fucking show they put out with the little uh, girls oh, yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, dance, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then people yeah, came out crazy. and said, "Hey, you're marketing the pedophiles." I and they just kept one. doing it. Yeah. I didn't watch it either, but I mean, it was definitely on my oh, view, yeah. view now yeah. Yeah. thing of majiggy that yeah. they do. Once yeah, I see teenagers, gross. I'm just clicking. Past. I don't think they were teenagers. They were under, under teenagers uh, for sure. <laughs> no, I was nasty. Even the title. Don't look up the title, but the title was nasty too. That was just wasn't it. All right. Um. What else we got? What else we got? Netflix. More culture. Yeah, and just or good stuff. Yeah. Good, good things. At, at anything minimal. good. Yeah, anything that'll just keep us on the site. All yeah. you companies that kept putting out, putting out your tweets and your marketing plans about all these things you were gonna do for black people in the black community a few months ago. Where is it? Netflix, in their defense, has put out a lot of. Uh, I wasn't talking about Netflix, but okay, but yeah. please. they put out a lot of uh, black content. They have. They have a whole category for it to swipe. <laughs> That's yeah. not y'all caping for the whites. Well, I'm just saying that they've done it. A- <laughs> well, I think I think they really ca- I think they really care. Uh, I, I don't think they really care. I don't know if they really care. I don't know. I don't and know no, I'm not talking about Netflix. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just talking about in, in general. Yeah. Um. All right. What else? What else? What else? I was the one oh that came shit! On this, speaking this of, uh, and said that when everyone wanted to put the a black just a black image on their Instagram for the day and take the day off of work, I said, "All right, let me see y'all in a month. Yeah, let me see y'all in two months. See y'all in three months." I appreciated the black square. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's just like... No, you, people are so full of shit, man. You're not wrong. Do y'all want to get into uh, Forbes' 30 under 30 list? I didn't see it, but... Oh, wait. We got to congratulate Ian. Let me round of applause as soon as I find oh, a round out, of applause. Shout out to the guy, man. Hold up, man. This guy's in the club Ian. now. This guy is in the club. Engage gang. Your life is over, Ian. Ian has engaged to his longtime significant other. And that's what I got. Congratulations. That's what I got. One Beautiful my, ring. My favorite people. Beautiful couple. Absolutely. Yeah. Really happy for those two lovebirds. Yeah, no, congrats to them. Congrats to them. <laughs> well, I got to like, stop like by those, the like love nest and check them out. The love, love nest. nest. You got to stop by the nest. Yeah. yeah. Give them a hug. See what's going on over there. 
Yeah. That'll buy you eight months of not arguing. <laughs> <laughs> Just friends dropping by? <laughs> no, the ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on, man. You know you got that from my bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it to the next year. Congratulations, uh, congratulations to Ian. Your life is over, <laughs> but we no. support you. Well, no, that's not true. You still got another two years. Yeah. You bought you bought yourself some you time. Can, you can sort push of it, though. You can push it to five if you're some people. We won't say any names. <laughs> you, you guys are really bad at math. But <laughs> wait, what did you say? Huh? Huh? I know you guys no. weren't talking about me, so it doesn't matter. I wasn't. Oh, <laughs> I know. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> me? Come on, Rory. I would never. Me? Come on, man. No, Do you think we would ever talk about you that way? No. All right. Forbes 30 under 30. <laughs> Presented by McAllen. <laughs> little baby going to baby gonna shoot one of y'all. Why oh, you say that? Because <laughs> he got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and his hand won't seem to leave it. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, of course. I and, love if, the, and if it's not, it's registered. I love Lil Baby. Of course it is, Rory. Come on. <laughs> Lil Baby yeah. would never. All right. 30 under 30. What does this list mean? Somebody tell me what, what's happening. They have good PR. Topping charts and shifting culture. <laughs> oh, wait. For, I thought Forbes only did money. I not really well, thought it was under 30 charts, richest people. Culture, I'm well, pretty sure you make now, nah, they're doing, now they're doing culture. They're headed Rory. to money, Rory. Yeah. Wait, you they're think, gonna get it. Wait, you think topping charts and shifting culture get you money? <laughs> uh, it'll get you on a thirty under thirty. <laughs> no, it'll get your label some money. Yeah, that's true. Is there like a number order that this is in, or were they just bigging everybody just up? Drop some names. Yeah. All right, let me see the names, man. Roddy Rich. Yeah. All, all right, right. Go all ahead. Right, all right. All right. All right. Con- continue. All right. All right. You, using Not my black brother. Beats. Using my black brother, Roddy Rich. Brent Fayaz. Shout out to Brent. Paul G. Shout out to y'all just scotch. looking at niggas to shout, shout out. How about you name scotch. name the rest of these I'm naming people. the scotch. I'm no, I'm, oh, shit. DeMarcus won? <laughs> DeMarcus is not 25 years old. Oh, I just want to make that clear. <laughs> Y'all are sick. He belongs under the 40 and 40. Elliot Grange, founder of 10K Projects. Uh, Ashley Graver, Colin Grave. Uh, man, G Herbo, Lil Baby, Gibson Hazard, Lydia Leibman, Melanie Menendez. <laughs> a- 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 Ava Max, names. London on the track, Cynthia Parkhurst. Man, get this Where's shit the Rory? fuck out of here, man. Sweetie. Sweetie. Sweetie's I'm not under 30. Oh, Sweetie, Sweetie, Sweetie should be okay. number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Selena Gomez. Oh, all-star alumni. Megan Thee Stallion. Selena Gomez and Justin Lubliner. Wait. I feel like Lubliner should be my last name. Wait. If- <laughs> <laughs> I'll be lining the lube. <laughs> when I come back to the rap Joey game. Joey Lubliner. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe Lubliner. <laughs> Wait, Look at him. If he you're an like alumni of the 30 under 30, are you over 30? What is, uh, it, what is the alumni? No, nah, that means you were just, it was just the there last year? year? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thoughts, gentlemen? Oh, congrats this, to all these people. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, but yeah, thoughts. Thank, thank uh, you for shifting yeah. the culture. Congrats, but thoughts. They shifted the culture. <laughs> thanks, but thoughts. <laughs> I think I don't, Sweetie's awesome. I don't really Forbes does every understand year. the context of just saying chart toppers and yeah. cult, culture shifters. We're save on. I don't disagree with them. Like Gibson Hazard for me was a really good part of my culture. Yeah, Rory should have that. been on the top thirty dot connectors under thirty. Um, but I'm not under thirty. I'm thirty. Oh, thirty and under. <laughs> I would have made that list. Thirty and under best dot connectors. You. Yeah. Uh, move. I, uh, move. Mover and shaker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you shake. Tastemaker. You helped me get the keys to the V dot six. <laughs> What happened when we got rich, though? <laughs> um. All right, Forbes under 30, 30 under 30, blah, 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 blah. All right. I don't care about this. Congrats. Yeah, I don't care about any of this no, stuff. No, no. No, who cares? Just here to talk to my friends. It's just more, it's just, it's just more lists. What you doing tomorrow, man? <laughs> <laughs> What's your weekend looking like? Give oh, a this, fuck about this, this shit. Uh, What's up, man? Are you going to fire up the grill tomorrow? For, Forbes will not be part of my weekend. <laughs> Yeah, You're not going to read Forbes this weekend? No, I no. won't. I won't. But that me. All right, we got a spicy story here. Ooh. Didn't see Chance on that list. Why not? He's being sued. Really? By who? His manager. <laughs> For what? Because <laughs> his manager thinks his album was trashed. 
can't it, sue somebody because their album is trash. Yeah. <laughs> According to Illinois, he can. <laughs> He's suing him because he took back the chance. <laughs> can't give me a chance to take it. <laughs> what is going on? Honestly, what happened? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not reading this shit because I don't care. All right, I'll, I'll give you uh, a breakdown. Oh, oh yes. you already did. This is, I love this. <laughs> Grab a snicker. Yeah. <laughs> Took him a year to hear the album, and now he has a breakdown. No, yeah. I didn't hear the album, but I did uh, read the lawsuit. Okay. <laughs> I read the litigation. All right, get the shit <laughs> over, Rory. No, so uh, essentially, his his manager is suing him because he announced his album without speaking with his manager and just put the album date out and his manager's like hey I don't know if it's a good idea because you have not recorded any music and you're now putting us on a date you also have a wedding you need to do uh, and I don't think the music will be up to par if we stick to this day that you announced without even talking to me about can you hear Hot Shower? no he did not hear Hot Shower wow. so Chance stuck to the date put it out it was Chance's commercially worst project his ticket sales suffered, uh, and I believe it ruined, according to this manager, their careers. So he is asking for $3 million. They are as in they, as in them both. Yes. He got to relax. <laughs> <laughs> so the manager asked for $3 million. Uh, I guess that's a number of what he thinks they could have made had he listened to his management skills. And go read it for yourself. I just I I read. No, nah, I'm gonna roll what you said. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah I'll just yeah, take your word for this. One, buddy. this. This literature. That's pretty interesting. I've never heard of something like this. Uh, and I guess <laughs> you once... can't sue me because my album panned. <laughs> yeah, like I don't even understand. But you like... didn't listen to me though. Oh wait, because he fired him. Oh, he fired him too. That's well, yeah, he fired oh, him. That's okay, important. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, okay. he well, he fired him after the album uh, tanked. According to him, and he's now managed by his dad and his brother. Uh, and his dad and his brother said, "All right, let's just settle this. I'll give you three hundred fifty thousand dollars." And he said, "No, I want three million, and I want, I guess, whatever the industry standard is when you do something like this is three years of uh, commission." Hold on to that three fifty, buddy. I'm not going to take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wait and fight this one out. <laughs> okay, so he was, he was, he was, he was fired. Okay, I get it now. That makes more sense. Wrongfully fired. Who it was his fault that you didn't you, listen to him? Who do you side with here, buddy? Come on. Come I on. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, I love park sound effects. <laughs> Pause. I mean, the, the, the album it wasn't my favorite album. Okay, but what yeah, is Yeah, but it? I don't think the manager was back there telling the truth. That's a good point. Well, he we said, no, know. no, he was saying in there that, yeah, he was. That, what was what he supposed to say? Saying, hey, Chance, you have a wedding you're about no, to we do. We can find There's one no video of the no manager music. in the studio going, ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once you find that, he lost the, oh yeah, he lost the lawsuit after that. It's like, yeah, all right, fam, you I'm thought sorry. it was fire. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. Still Unless waiting. the manager kept it really, really real in the text when he got the demos through. I, like, I was nah, about to say, no, I think nah. there's probably text messages where he's saying, Chance, I don't think this is enough time for us to roll this album out and you haven't recorded anything and you have a, a wedding you're planning. <laughs> this doesn't seem like the right time to put your debut album out. Are we back to that debut stuff I just again? was trying to... That was a trigger point for you. That's why oh. I said it. <laughs> okay. I was thinking the other day how Chance uh, was the nail in the coffin for mixtapes. He put the nail in the coffin? Coloring book was the end of the mixtape era, officially. You don't think it was before that? Yeah, what well, mixtape came out since then? Lil Wayne just put one out last week. Ah, uh, meh. To, me, to, me. the, to the goat. No, man, so like three. Man, One mixtape in the course of man, five years? Man to the no, goat. St- no, streaming killed the mixtape. Man to the goat. Not a chance. <laughs> you don't want to look at me. Man to the goat. You man. can't. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that nigga. He just keep talking to Rory. Rory, what'd you say? I was trying to get him nah, out nah, of it. <laughs> the man to the goat. Did you listen to it? What? No. Just what? <laughs> I no, Joe said why he didn't listen to it. I, yeah, I don't listen to rap no more. Oh. No, that, that's, not what, that's <laughs> not what he said. <laughs> that is what I said. That's not what you said. Okay, what I said. said. You said you wasn't off the fact that he said racism isn't real. And I respect that. Let me let me say. I'm going to just nod my head to that now. Yeah, no, I respect it. I get it. I seen Loaded Lux talking about why Trump is the man, too. It made me look at that whole black power round a little different. I didn't moving watch the on, thing. I saw the clip. <laughs> moving on, you didn't fall for the clickbait <laughs> on that one. Just moving on, he said, "I'm not supporting Trump. I just understand why he would be better right now." <laughs> I was like, "Uh, let me look up support. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe I got the definition." Oh, Lux saying what I was saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
All no, you Bronx no, niggas, all, all you Bronx and Harlem niggas is saying the same thing. No, just all, all people that don't care about. I politics. made a bet with somebody yesterday that shall remain nameless. We, we bet a dollar. Mm-hmm. His bet is that Trump is still the president. He's not leaving. I said, I'll take that dollar. Look at that dollar. He's up out of here. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I hear he's pretty down about it, though. Trump? I don't know. Moving on. Oh, what? That, <laughs> man a, to the goat. <laughs> <laughs> An emotionally <laughs> stable person like that Trump? man. Uh, Did you listen to it? I, I, I tried. It's fucked up because Wayne has really been rapping. No doubt. He's rapping. He don't the sound bad on No Ceilings 3. He's either. been rapping. He doesn't sound bad on He it. does like, no, Wayne is still Wayne. <laughs> he's not the Wayne Wayne that we love to death. But yeah, he's, he sounded good on this. This he wasn't did. like some horrible mixtape. It was a good no, it wasn't horrible. Not at all. He's rapping on it. No, no, no. I don't listen to rap. It's cool. I'm sure on person. Yeah, any, any R&B Actually. on here? Uh, There's some singing. Yeah, oh, yeah. some singing on there. Any, yeah, yeah. Ryth- any rhythm in bars? <laughs> Definitely he was on beat. If there's sure. no rhythm and bars, then no, it's rhythm and bars on here. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, no, I'm not gonna put that on chance that he ruined mixtapes. No, I didn't say he ruined them. <laughs> I'm just saying that he was the he, he, he was the end of that era. That album, a, a mixtape, can't get no higher than going to like quadruple million well, times. But that's because it wasn't a mixtape. <laughs> no doubt, <laughs> it's just like it was an album. No doubt, it was an album. He yeah. ushered in the mixtape album officially. On that the biggest take, level. That take, That's what I'm saying. No, I, I I'm not think, saying he killed mixtapes. I think stream. I just think that he was the, it. the end of the mixtape. That's the official. Can't can't monetize something that's not yours. While so. we were while we were on our Netflix conversation, I wanted to jump in and just hit the round of applause and really shout out uh, Triller because uh, they announced their boxing network uh, with Snoop Dogg. Their collaboration, again, I think they did a phenomenal job with uh, the Tyson fight. I think they have now found their lane in funding and distributing original content. They see that shit work. And <laughs> they have a lot of money, and I don't think they're going to stop and call me. <laughs> <laughs> I will continue to pay $50 on a Saturday night to watch Snoop. Make jokes on people fighting. Easy. No, this could be a, like the big three shit that Ice Cube does, but boxing, and I just have Snoop commentate everything. Just get some yeah. old fighters. Whatever in the they ring do, just don't put going. Nate Robinson back in there. <laughs> what? You have to do the rematch. No. You, please don't. The rematch. You please have don't. to do the rematch. I don't want to see that one again. No, please yeah. don't. You're not watching that rematch. No. I would I'm put Tyson in right back watching that rematch. I would take that fight if all my bones weren't aching or broken. What fight? Inside of me. Take what fight? Jake Paul? Or Nate? Either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you black dudes that are scared of Jake Paul now. Y'all was impressed by some of them shots? No, I'm just saying I'll you. fucking wipe that nigga around the bodega. Okay. Nate said the that's, same That's exactly shit. how Nate started this whole that's thing. exactly how this thing started Sam, with Nate. I'm not Nate. I know you're not. I'm I know you're going to fall the same I'm way not, you get in there with that white boy. <laughs> <laughs> Knock your ass right out, nigga. <laughs> and you won't get up like my hands were so heavy. Well, you know, I've never, I've never been knocked out. But boxing is different, that. though. Let me tell you that. Boxing you is travel different. in some circles with niggas that ha- have been knocked out publicly, and you still dap them up. Cool. Boxing, You're talking to a nigga that has never bro, experienced this, this that. Is, this is I'm exactly, just telling you something. Exactly I'm different. just telling you this something. Is exactly the I'm just telling you something. But boxing Ooh, is the different. battle for YouTube. Yo, Joe Ooh. Biden versus Jake Paul. Savon, mark this, because this is the clip they're going to play Ooh. right Ooh. after Joe is What I'm going to look like, void it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I'm gonna look like on that creatine? Yeah, this clip is gonna haunt you. No I'm gonna beat the brakes off of fucking Jake Paul. No Jake Just Paul. keep your head up, please. <laughs> fucking kidding me? That 26 year old, what he go whoop your ass <laughs> <laughs> with his head down? Yes. <laughs> I seen the sparring footage, man. He could hit. He could hit. Oh, you fell for the sparring footage. You didn't see that shit? Um, Nate, Nate should have saw that before he jumped in the ring. He would have changed his mind. Or. Maybe practiced. Let me give you a legendary line from one of the greatest movies ever made, Bloodsport. <laughs> Brick, don't hit me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all keep hey, right there I know. Hey, look, 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 look. Nobody's ever looking his way when he's punching him. I know. <laughs> I know. Hey, more. Brick, don't yeah. hit back. <laughs> hey, Nate did his back. I think it's so impressive, Nate. Look, look, look. Look at this man. 
Man, yo. Man, he Jake Paul, the- send me your location, man. man he beating the shit out. Send these- me <laughs> your location. <laughs> all right, go ahead, man. They all have their arms down looking another way. Look at this doof. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tell me when you've seen proper footwork from any of these guys. Okay. I hear you. Oh, my nah, God. No, you got it. Come on, man. Look, look at her. No, nah, he's not. Look, he's not. Look at her. Look at, he put look at her. Down, man. Look at her. Look. <laughs> Yo, when I take this fight, I'm going to call my friends so we could stage a little, <laughs> a little, <laughs> not a little knockout punch around. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yo, you're not going to fall, fall to the Get ground the for me? Fuck out of here. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> out your mind. Ah. <laughs> Park, yeah, I'll take, I'll take it. come on, yeah, man! Come. You gotta make me look yeah. like a killer, Rory. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, back. come on, man! Yeah, but you gotta fall after like I swing right, back. Well, just let me get a few in. Yeah, yeah you can hit me, <laughs> and I'll play it. Oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> pow! <laughs> Rory, why are you doing this to me? I'm gonna act really badly. I'm just gonna let you know that. Yo, please turn this video <laughs> off. <laughs> hey, 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 scream, man! You can you can turn this video off. Got like this. Niggas showing us anything but that mellow yellow now, boy, right? You got eight screaming. You pulling these videos so fast as can be. Where's that little young baddie you had on the screen? That mellow yellow. Huh? Mellow yellow left you on red? I need to hear what the need to know boys conversation is like when they're trying to get into that groove. The horny groove? Turn it, yeah, you know the groove. The horny groove. Turn it up for a night. Yeah. You don't think they got rhythm? Yeah, I'm the guy now. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave me leave. No, no, go ahead. No, 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 I'm waiting. No. I'm, waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for the guy. No, no, because you won't share with me. You no, don't share. Your, your, all right, I'll tell you what guy. And you tell me what guy you are to. Okay. See, they married, so we can't talk to them. Yeah. Okay. Damn, but you cooler than me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear what you no, say. No. <laughs> I'm the guy now. I'm, I'm, I look at the story. You'll be on whatever trip you on in front of a sign and yeah. say, yo, we in Vegas toasting it up. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you in Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, you out there in Vegas? <laughs> Hold on. Are you, su- are you suggesting that you'll go to Vegas? No, 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 no. That's your way of no, no, no. conversation. That's okay, how you start conversation. Yo, I think I, yo, you there? Yeah. <laughs> this is the only place in the world that looks like this. Yes, I'm in Vegas. No, like an idiot, like an idiot replying to the story that says, yo, I'm out here in Vegas <laughs> tearing it up. Yo, you out there right now? Yeah. Anything to get the conversation started. I love the hard rock. <laughs> Joe's the, the creepy uncle. The snowflake thing came and went. Yeah, it's, uh, not, it's not working. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't, that didn't, yeah. that, didn't yeah. that wasn't gonna work. Y'all should have told. You me. never made it to, to glacier status. Y'all should have told me, man. <laughs> I'm still out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, nah, so, I'm still nah. out there dropping it off. <laughs> <laughs> they, they ain't even reading that shit. <laughs> uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? Let me see. 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 HBO, Chiller, Spotify stole their reels thing from some girl. Or... Jeremiah speaks. Jeremiah speaks. Why didn't we do that on the chance thing? Oh well, yeah. Chance reported that he spoke to Jeremiah. That's great to hear. That's yeah, awesome. For the good first time yeah. on the phone. Really That's happy awesome. To hear that. Super glad that Jeremiah is doing a lot better. Um, that he's able to get on the phone and that it looks like he should be good sometime soon. Yeah, I think I think he was saying that he was coming home yesterday. Something like that. Oh great. Yeah, well I'm I'm happy he's he's recovering. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, word. Congratulations to uh Jeremiah and that's that's awesome. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Speaking of recovering, I, I can't wait till y'all watch me knock somebody out, man. Honestly, Who you I think y'all. Out? I think y'all. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. No, I'm just saying, please don't. I just think that when it happens, y'all, 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 res- y'all respect level for me will increase. Y'all, no, y'all, that, y'all, y'all start having versus battles. I could win. <laughs> oh, somebody gave me one. Who? Chameleon Air. Mm, that's tough, though. So when? Riding dirty. So when? <laughs> but but it, all right. I don't, <laughs> don't want to sound like I'm shitting. On, I don't want to sound like I'm shitting on chameleon there because I fuck with chameleon. But it's like that ain't like the you know, some win. All right, cool. We'll take that. But like that ain't. What does that say? Chameleon, I got an album though. I forgot which one it was. It, it just that album does, was good. Yeah, me and you. I'm, no, I'm just saying. I don't want like, you to be the guy. I think that's just more like, of like some funny shit. So like I just, finally find somebody I win against. You're like, what that say? What that do? No, that's just funny though. But I would see that. I would, I would watch that. She don't put it down coming on third. 
I'm mad you put the set list together yeah. when you heard it. <laughs> Yo, that's coming. That's what you play third. Oh, man. <laughs> that's what you giving them. <laughs> you think they're yeah, ready for yeah, your third? Your third. Your third. That's How you right. gonna intro that? Yeah, that's a point. That's a win. Uh, that's, that's a point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come back every week. I'm gonna come think of somebody I could beat. That's funny. Until Swiss and them introduced the new openers. Yeah. I tried to sneak it in the last week when he called. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yo, book me. No, he just said yeah, zone. Yeah. Hit in. <laughs> <laughs> Joe was like, yeah, no, nah, you're opening. He's like, zone. No, zone, zone. <laughs> zone, zone, zone. <laughs> zone, zone, zone. Yo, he zoned me. He did. He act like he ain't pump it up, man. You got to stop. Like zone, zone. Uh, all right. So, uh, tonight, we got a big fight. Danny Garcia versus Earl Spence. Mm. Earl Spence Jr. Mm-hmm. I guess that prefix is important. You think you uh, can beat either of them? Do I th- no. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to figure out no. where your level was at with everything. It's only y'all that be impressed by these big white boys. Now, I'll put these niggas down. <laughs> Not these two. That's a little different, Rory. Okay, just, just making sure. <laughs> what do you think you'll do with Jake Porter? I didn't say I could beat up Jake I'm Porter. asking. I never said that. I'm you ask- said that. I know. Now, I'm asking you what you think you'll do. In the ring or uh, like... Anywhere, in a, in a nigga. Fight. Anywhere. Like, you no, know, change mm-hmm. Anywhere. I went anywhere. Where you went? Anywhere. I, I could win in a street fight with him. In the ring What's now, street? He's, he's, in, he's been... <laughs> yeah, that's an important question. What's street? Steinway. Is it a Calabasas street? <laughs> Steinway. If, if, if Rory catch him on Steinway. On Steinway? I'm winning on Steinway. Yeah, yeah. That's home turf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's home turf. Yeah. yeah. These are the rivers and lakes I'm used to. Yeah. I'll be all right over here. Um, Does anybody have a, a boxing take for us? Uh, I like Errol Spence in this fight. I'm, this going, is, I'm, this, I'm going with Mo. I don't have the range for this. Yeah, me either. I like Errol Spence. I'm, I'm not a boxing I'm a, like, I'm a, cash, a casual like, boxing fan. Me too. I've watched both of these gentlemen fight, but I'm not... Uh, I like Danny Garcia. Same. Knowledgeable enough to... I get all my boxing stuff from Royce, and I'm not going to call him right now. Okay. <laughs> I, I like Spence. I just like the story. I want him to win. Yeah. That's, but that's Spence really is it. coming back from injury? Uh, car, car crash, yeah. yeah. Which wasn't too long ago at all, so mm-hmm. definitely gonna be a tough fight for him. But I, I, I maybe would have took a tune up too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this ain't really the tune up. Okay, okay, that should probably change things for me. I'm probably gonna go Danny. <laughs> you going Danny? I like Danny, I like Danny Garcia. Right? Like a year ago, without yeah. a warm up fight, without a just to get the joints back. Yeah, not even fight Jake Paul. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, again, I'm not knowledgeable enough, but that doesn't like, change. Like that Errol doesn't Spence. change, you know, anything for me. The Tyson fight numbers came back on what the Tyson fight is that confirmed or are you just freestyling? Did you Google? Did you do any research? One point five million viewers. That's a lot of dollars. At fifty dollars a pop. <laughs> no, we, we might as well do away with boxing now. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> we got one with this one. Snoop, come on back. And yeah. that was just that's just paid. Like viewers, yeah, that's a lot even, of people yeah. streamed that shit for sure. Yeah, but that's there was way more than one point five million people watching that. Fight. Yeah, but um, that's amazing. It is. That's a bag bag. What do you think their overhead was? It cost. They spent some money paying everybody. How does YouTube feel about this fight? They might be trying to get the next one. Yeah, it's a cer- certainly something that. That's a nice lane, though. They found they found a nice little pocket trailer. That's a nice little pocket. I don't know if you two likes this. They gotta find something else. They gotta, you know, get some. No, we don't. The YouTube don't. <laughs> no, we can find this. <laughs> Jake, pay for it. I'm just saying, Jake Paul's. The, the, he's a YouTube star. True. And now we're watching our YouTube star go and be a star on another platform, and it looks like he did a really good job. And they're probably investing him. Hey man. Yeah, I don't. I think. I think YouTube will get something with Jake Paul. They gonna. They gonna approach him with the bag. Oh, maybe so. Yeah, do like the twenty four seven shit where you're leading up to the fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. There's room for a lot of that. Yeah, BTS. Little I imagine. Shit that we just I imagine watched. Jake Paul's phone to be off the hook. Uh, I imagine him to have no shortage of business coming his way. What about Nate? Probably the end. It's probably the end of that. <laughs> no, Nate's phone has been it's off the hook. Too. It's probably over for that ball. <laughs> his phone. His phone has been <laughs> off the hook. Yeah. Guarantee you, that. Oh, yeah. you don't think they're going for the rematch? Yeah. You get knocked out like that before a Tyson no. fight? <laughs> no. Everybody saw that. No. I don't think they're going for the rematch. Did he find Spud Webb? Oh, I think Muggsy Bogues is ready. Yeah. No, leave that alone. Uh, all right, listen. John Wall is in Houston. No more singles. Before we get to that, who 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 won this trade and who has the better backcourt now? I feel like 
it was kind of a wash. Um, no. Well, well one got a first round pick out the deal. So I mean, got the better John. John is a couple years. John younger. and James <laughs> versus uh, Bill and uh, Westbrook. Your favorite player? Who who has the better better backcourt? And um, I don't know that James is staying there, but right this second, how does it look? Houston. I don't know yet. Yeah, I don't know yet. I gotta see what John Wall looks like coming back. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the question mark. Coming I got to see injury. what John Wall looks like coming back. He looks got, good. I got in these, confidence in He looks good. I in hope he comes games. back and looks like he did before he got hurt. He looks great in these pickup games. Um, but um, that's got to suck. Like at one point, John Wall was the fastest player in the league, right? Yeah. Then you got to rehab and come back from injury, and now when you come back, I got to look at all these fast ass twenty one year olds that's in the <laughs> league now. Like now, I got to deal with De'Aaron Fox and who yeah. else is fast? Like there's some fast guys out there now. Yeah. I think that's part of the case with Westbrook too. What? Like when you're used to just being the fastest guy out there and having the most athletic ability, and then as you age, you have to deal with these other guys. I compare it to like kind of like when you're a rapper and you had your run of you was that shit, and now you got to watch the younger dudes come up and do things y'all didn't do or invent. That You have to watch it and sustain and still be great while they're doing that. I imagine that to be a tough spot for both John Wall and Russell Westbrook to be in as veterans and elder statesmen. Yeah, uh, uh, Russell is obviously still one of the most elite guards in the league. Um, I think that him playing in this, you know, it's a new, it's a, first of all, he's in the Eastern Conference now. Um, I like I like him and Bradley Bill together. Cade Cunningham. Who? None. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. You got you to see how they look, it's, you know, chemistry. Um, if, if if Russ is gonna play with a change of pace, or is he gonna just keep going 100 miles an hour? It's just a lot of things that you know is, is in question. How's John gonna look coming off the injury? It's if just... you got a girl in Houston, you share her now. <laughs> I was wondering was that, gonna that's, get to really, the that's really just the bottom line. <laughs> if you thought the line, if you thought the lines were long at Turkey Leg Hut before, think again. Mm, okay. Even longer now. Yeah. If you thought that your little bit of money in V-Live was going to do the trick, guess what? It's stay over for that balling. Yeah, no. You can stay home now. Nah, camp, camp looks a little different now. I don't think the league has ever seen a backcourt off the court like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, they never they This never is have. the they best off-the-court backcourt you have ever seen in the league. Mm. Trust you, me. So now, here's my hot take. Undebatable, too. Here's my hot take. And I've been right on this hot take each time I've said it. Mm -hmm. I said that, well, no. I said Chris Paul and James Harden would fight, and they fought. They did. You don't have to debate me on it. Russell Westbrook, I didn't see a fight there, but I don't really remember if I said one. I got John Wall and James Harden bumping heads over a girl at some point. I can okay. say it, I guess. I'm not mad at that. Man. I also have I Russell take. Westbrook and Bradley Bill bumping heads at some point, too. Did you have KD and Kyrie? No. I didn't have them bumping heads. But like I said, told you all a few podcasts ago, I do think that with how things are going in that org organization in terms of power structure during the season, we'll hear a tiff. We'll hear a tiff, but Kyrie loves KD too much for that to be ever overblown. Bradley Beal always wants to fight somebody. <laughs> like, I see it. Russell Westbrook is another one who always wants to fight somebody. Yeah. John Wall and James Harden, I just could see, I just could see it. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah. What you, what's up? Your man LeBron, 85 million, two years. What'd you think? Underpaid. Big, big bags. Underpaid. Underpaid. Sure, underpaid. But I understand it. For his guy, he had to take a little less. And I like I like I like the two year uh thing that LeBron has been doing. Anthony Davis, five years, 185 million, 65 million, something like that. 190. Whew. Big bags. Worth every penny. Whew. Big bags. Worth La every Lakers, penny. Lakers overwhelming favorite, or do you have thirty five wins again? <laughs> no, they're they're the, they're the favorite. Obviously. To win it all. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Nobody beating them four times. Right? Here's the thing. Anthony Davis has to stay home. Oh, brand new podcast, Joe Budden Network. Here's the thing. No, he has to he has <laughs> to That's not even the name of the podcast. He has to <laughs> Good plug. Because if Anthony Davis Don't do that, Eric. <laughs> if Anthony Davis gets hurt, the rest of that roster is, you know. Still pretty good. Yeah, but if he gets hurt, no doubt. Tweaks an ankle. Oh, yeah. I don't want to put that out. I'm just saying that's if a lot. If the best lie. player on the A team yeah. gets yeah. hurt. Here's my question for you guys to answer political, uh, politically correct if you uh, see fit. Do you like what Paul George is doing, just trashing Doc Rivers every chance he gets? 
No, I don't like when players do that anyway, though. Got it. Like, don't, don't, you could, because you were out there. You were on the floor. The, the right. coach wasn't shooting. He wasn't. The more details that come out in that Clippers locker room, mm-hmm. it's nasty. Paul George did uh, uh, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson's podcast, and that clip is everywhere, man. <laughs> shout out to them for starting their new season out. Yeah, with shout a out to bang. Matt. Shout out to Staff Jack. <laughs> Big bang. The niggas yeah. I expect to provide bangs, they be providing the bang. Pause. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Paul George is shitting on Doc Rivers. He's shitting on whatever the plan was. The, but they say that Paul George and Kawhi was the only two that had personal trainers and personal security guards. So if I'm on the team and you come through with your personal security guard, I'm going to have a fit. But that's every main player, big star in the league, though. James Harden has personal security. LeBron has personal security. Like, dude, that's... Think Kawhi is not going to have personal security? I do. I'm talking about uh, Paul George, pandemic Paul. I mean, I can see Don't Paul worry. having security too. He, he's a franchise. Player. No, I'm not saying that he shouldn't. I'm saying if I'm another player, when Paul comes in, when Kawhi comes in with security, I salute. Mm-hmm. When yeah. Paul comes in with his security, you feel away. A little side eye. <laughs> <laughs> a little, yeah. A little side eye. But they're going to be good too. Paul say, how you doing? I'm trying to get like you. <laughs> That's some hate shit. I'm just trying to get like you. <laughs> you that. doing it. That's hate shit. It's not me, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? I don't know. You got him. Trying to get on your level. Yeah. Um, what is this here? Leonard and George were the only players to have their own personal security guard and trainers. Leonard and George had power over the team's practice and travel schedule. Travel schedule? Come on, man. Leading teammates to believe Leonard canceled multiple practices. Leonard was allowed to live in San Diego and commute from there, which often made him late for team flights. Leonard and George typically didn't speak to the media until at least 45 minutes after games concluded. Under the guise of post-game treatment or workouts, this usually resulted in their teammates speaking with the media first and for longer, essentially becoming the public voices of the team. Teammates also believed that Leonard and George were able to pick and choose when they played. Not only did they sit out games entirely, but also at times they accepted or declined playing time declining playing time is hilarious <laughs> yeah i'm cool like nah I don't pg we need it. you get in there you know what i'm yeah, gonna chill right nah, here yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> you guard him used to play right <laughs> yeah. huh yeah i'm cool where's austin rivers now yeah no, i'm cool <laughs> on the knicks on the knicks no song i hear about we are the new york knicks they don't even sing that shit no more <laughs> Um, all right, I believe that's everything. I don't have anything else on my list to get to that is important and relevant and impactful to the culture. Do you I have am. anything, Rory? Uh, Maul, do you have anything? Parks, Parks, guess, you guys gonna E-Rap, move? anybody, huh? You guys going to move in Houston a little different now? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. I saw a meme. Somebody said, you get to argue with your girl from Houston. Next thing you know, she had J. Prince Jr. house with unlimited 1942 screaming mob ties. <laughs> It's over at that point. You just gotta like you know. Yeah, you just gotta get that one up. Yeah, just yeah, hang it up. You can't even hit her because you don't want the mob time. <laughs> like, oh shit, she might implicate me. <laughs> yeah, it's over with, man. Um, I'm finito. Yeah, come on. And I aged incredibly. <laughs> Botox. <laughs> My yeah. Botox looks good. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> and your teeth. I'm surprised you ain't coffee stained them things up yet. No, not yet. Hey, and the teats. <laughs> the, the cigs and coffee going to do it. Uh, yeah, I break them shits in. Oh, man. You guys. Nah, you might need to let this whole shit rock. Oh, sorry, bro. What do you say, Roars? Might have to let this whole shit rock. <laughs> mic check, mic check. Mic, mic, mic check. Thank you for another amazing episode. Y'all know what time it is. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. They went over your head. No, nah, they're not going to make me miss this. Yo, keep us in your <laughs> prayers. <laughs> keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Hasta la vista. Adios. So long. Goodbye. Farewell. All of that good shit. Remember, life is a series of moments. And moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. With that said, say when. Let's go, LipoFlex. Let's go. Niggas couldn't get that second round of Lipo. Let's go. Turn up. This this is all like men's IG captions. (laughs) This is what he gave us.
Don't. Hey. That's cool. Who else? More, what did the studio feel like when this was out? Y'all hold it down out there. If you're a rapper, please be safe. Word, please stay shit. alive. Real shit. Please plan to be here for the next five years. We got work to do, honestly, though. Casanova, G. Herbal, we still with y'all. <laughs> Outside of him, his greatness, mm -hmm. like this just casual cadence. Yeah. Everybody wanted to, <laughs> like he just on the couch, yeah. tempered at something. Uh -huh. Man, everybody want to be hold on. Like he's scratching his, just like he's scratching his head. Just talking yeah. to you. Uh, oh, I want to know if he wrote that. Uh. <laughs> that was part of the ball. I swear to God, that's the stuff I want to know. Elliot didn't ask. <laughs> Elliot and B dot didn't ask. If the uh and the flex freestyle. Uh, like you worked this one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk to Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this thing work with me? Same, same. Why is that work? It same, makes, same, makes you listen a little harder. Same, <laughs> insane. Man, that makes you listen. <laughs> Hold on. Y'all <laughs> uh, don't, y'all don't. What year was this? You wasn't there? No, I'm, I'm, I was in high school, so probably. Oh, then forget oh, it then. Then you're not in Rockefeller. So like, oh, five or six. Somewhere six. There. What do I make? Like, yeah. You was murder, ain't Rory said, let it play, so I'm letting it play. Sorry, YouTubers. That's him telling y'all long ago to get off those money phones, you broke peasants. <laughs> Twitter would have been so mad. Oh, Rory, hold time. up. He's getting in them offices. Hold up. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. 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 See, this is the verse they need for me. Need to convert. This is the <laughs> verse they need for me. Not rapidy rap lyrics. Oh, the merger, this, the money. <laughs> this is where we are. Let's go. <laughs> Don't laugh, Parks. When I make the call, just hit space bar. Don't do that. <laughs> All you gotta do is hit space bar when the call come in. True. <laughs> 